happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. Let's say hi to our panel. What is up, you bum? Hold on. Right there. Hi. Oh, is it time for me to say hello to everybody? It is. Okay. Welcome, one and all, to the greatest spectacle on the internet, the Affordable Comics Auction on Strictly's Comic Groups. Tuesday, say... <laughs> I lost it. I tried. <laughs> um, we tried. Thanks for coming, everybody. We, we really like you guys, especially. And if you stick around, we're going to be selling comic books. And I know how much everybody here enjoys a good comic book and we'll have a lot of them i have stacks of comic books all around me so i'm, I'm sure I'm looking forward Get to that it. thumbs up and all right leave your leave your stuff you want in the i keep pointing that way but i guess the chat's that way in their screen type yep. in the screen what you want us to sell you <laughs> exactly yeah all right thank you mark appreciate you here oh, on over to this guy. Oh my goodness, is that a little stretch Armstrong? Hey, what's up, peeps? Boy, we got some books today. Boy, we got some, we got some Batman, some detective comics, some high grade silver. I hope you guys stick around for some good. Is stuff that today. a real one? Is that, yeah, that's a real stretch Armstrong. You're afraid I'm still playing with it. How in the world is it still surviving? Barely. So we still have seven <laughs> spots left on this swap. Wow. I hope to see you guys sell, uh, go through that today. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. And thank you, Teresa. All right. I had a stretch monster in the box, and it just completely disintegrated. Well, that's crazy. All right. We're going to move it on over to this guy. What's up, bum? Hello, folks. How are we doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we have comic books like Barbarian said. Hopefully you would like some. You got Hi. a different angle. No, I don't. All right. Thank All you. Right. Moving on over to this guy. He's grumpy. Roman, what you got for us? Are you here? <laughs> Howling. Are you here? Did you fall asleep already, guys? Oh, my goodness. Well, he'll be with us. All right. Well, maybe he doesn't need an introduction. All right. We're going to move it on over to this guy. What's up, Edwin? Hello, folks. It's good to be back. Um, I am uh, happy to be here tonight. And uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up. I'm sending some invitations right now. Um, I have been extremely busy and extremely lazy. That's why my board is still not back up, but I'm going to try to take care of that this week before the um, uh, vintage uh, show on Saturday. Uh, also, um, I have shipped, uh, I shipped a bunch of books uh, week before last. I shipped some today. Uh, if you've got books that you want shipped, let me know. There's a lot of people that I'm holding them for, and I want to make sure that uh, I'm appropriately holding them. Uh, if you want anything shipped, just let me know. We'll get it out the door within just a few days. Um, otherwise, let's have a good time tonight. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's say hi to the chat really quick mm -mm -mm. we've got gtk comics always hitting that like button we appreciate you thank you for stopping in david reese hope you're doing well on this fine tuesday mystic traveler hope you're doing good we got psk in the house we got gucci poo we got a goo rhythm good to see you guys what's up a goo G Major, hi, how are you? Welcome. Steven Spock, how are you? Hope you're doing good. We got Petra Nova in here. What's up, Petra? Good to see ya. Michael's Comics 54, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. We got this guy in the house. Hold on, we gotta find him. 
We got some spider flint in the house. What's up, spider flint? Good to see ya. Uh, we got James in the house. Man, I'm losing the highlights here. Carlos Sanchez, what's up? James, hope you're doing good. Good to see you. Steve, hope you're doing well as well. Uh, all right, guys. <clears throat> Let's start it off. Thank you for all being here. If you guys haven't, please make sure you guys are smashing that like button. And uh, 75 likes, we'll do a giveaway, guys. So here we go. Let's start round one. Light. I don't have an iPhone or else it would give you hearts. <laughs> okay, starting out. We have a waffle. I have six spots left on this. It's $5 a spot. It is a New Mutants 18, 8.0 with white pages. Um, shipping's included. $5 a spot. So there's 10 spots total. So if anybody's interested in that, that's also going to be your round giveaway for any buyer. Anybody that buys from somebody, at the end of the round, will get to get into a race. And the winner of that race will get one spot on this waffle right here. But you can still buy one, too, if you want to. Um, I'm just going to go through some $5 buy it nows. And if you want to just stop me when it's been too long, that works for me. They're all $5. Okay. I don't hear anything. $5? What do you want $5 for? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, what was his name in here? Uh I saw it a second ago. I got to scroll back up here. Somebody, G Majors. Um, this particular shirt's not for sale, but I have a Depop where I sell hundreds of graphic T-shirts, and I definitely have some Super Mario Brothers shirts on there, and they're all very affordable. So go to Depop and check out my Depop store where I sell shirts. <laughs> okay. So my $5 buy it now. First off, I have two copies of this. This is the Marvel Universe Master Edition, and this is uh, the official handbook. These are like, they got holes punched in them. You know, you would put them in a binder, but this is sealed in plastic still, and so it's still got the binding glue down the side like a book would have. But uh, never been opened. I got two copies of this. If anybody's interested in that, it's $5, brand new. Um We'll just start at the stop at the top of the stack, and you can just tell me when my time's up. Uh, Captain America 310. This is a fine copy. First appearance of the Serpent Society. First appearance of Cottonmouth, Bushmaster, Diamondback, Asp, and Rattler. Apparently, they were supposed to be in the next Captain America movie. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, but $5. All these are $5. Um, here's an X-Men Messiah Complex number one. This is the variant by Silvestri. I'm not sure if these were ratios or how they did them back then, but I got all the variants. So this is a VF Plus copy. Five bucks. Here is the uh, Sabertooth. I think this is a one-shot. Uh, it's Sabertooth in the red zone. This is like the weird lenticular chromium, not lenticular, uh, acetate. It's a plastic cover. But there's only two staples, so it wasn't added after the fact. It was produced like that from the factory. This is a near mint or better copy. So this is a gradable copy that you could send in and get you one of them high grades, maybe a 9.9 nowadays. Um, here's a man thing, number one. R.L. Stein run that they did. Uh, near mint, five bucks. This is Marvel Action. Number the Marvel Marvel Action Hour number one Iron Man still sealed, which means it still has the uh, uh, animation cell in it, and it still has I think there's a poster or something in there. Uh, five bucks. That's a good deal. The cells themselves sell for five bucks, and that's got it and a comic book. Here is a uh, early what is this 70s early 80s I think it was reprint uh, Tales from the Crypt. This is Vault of Horrors, number one. This is like the first year that they did reprints of these books here. You'll probably never be able to afford the real one. This is a VF minus copy for five bucks. 
Then I am. Oh, Iron Man. Gotcha. 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 Um, did you, did you, next one is uh, Atlas Comics Tiger Man number one. First Tiger Man in modern comics. If you didn't know, Tiger Man was a Golden Age comic character. This is a VG Plus copy, um, and that's not Tiger Man at all. No, that's not him. Five bucks. I don't do reprints. I don't do reprints either. Uh, Batman Superman, World's Finest, number three. This is the Perillo variant. Near Mint copy. Five bucks. Here's uh, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. You know that movie that they did? This is the comic adaption of it. VF copy. First appearance of Nuclear Man. That's that guy. <laughs> Five bucks. X-Factor 1. This is a fine, very fine copy. First appearance of Rusty Collins, everybody's favorite Marvel character. Five bucks. All right, so did you get Ryan McDonald's Ben Iron Man? Right there. All right. Gotcha. All right. I'll take that BWL. Batman Who Laughs. Oh, okay. Batman, that's uh, Superman, Batman. I need to put their names on these, but okay. You're going over here. You're going over here. Uh, next one up was Robin. This is a DC Universe variant. Uh, it's a VF near mint copy. Robin number 20. Five bucks. A DCU variant. Five bucks. Ben X Factor. Gotcha. Put MT. Okay. Put MT stack there. I got brand new post it notes. They're very shiny. Woohoo. Uh, here is a. Uh, Number 43 of Josie from Archie Comics. This is a fine, very fine copy. Josie and the Pussycats. There you go. Long tails and ears for hands. This hat. is uh, uh, Dan DiCarlo, I believe, did this cover. It says by Dan and Dick, so I'm assuming that means Dan DiCarlo did the <laughs> cover art. Five bucks. This is a very fine, very fine copy. Graded and raw and glare with you. Uh, here's a Birds of Prey number seven, Art Germ. That's a near mint minus copy. I don't know why I gave it. Oh, it's got a little dinger down on the corner that you could get rid of that if you really wanted to. But very nice Art Germ where he's not drawing the female. He actually drew a man. Wow. Five bucks. First time Punisher and Moon Knight fight. Punisher annual. What number is that? Punisher annual number two. New stand copy. VF. Five bucks. Five dollars. I'm halfway through my stack that I was going to do, so I'm just going to stop there. All right. All <laughs> right. I was expecting to stop way sooner than that. All right. Okay. So that one's going to go to MT. Where did I put my marker at? I had one somewhere. I just used it a minute ago. Oh, my God. Someone came in and stole my marker when I went in the house and grabbed cookies. Oh, no. I just got to write this on so I don't forget. Uh, my auction is going to start at. Wait. You're $6. doing the auction too? Okay. Yeah. Right. That's what I said. I was going to do $5 buy it now until you told me to stop. And then I had an auction. Oh, okay. Do I need to write it in the private chat? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. All right, go for it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, $6 is the starting bid. That's a dollar comic. And it's uh, one through six of Faithless, number two. And these are the Tula Latoya Connecting Erotic Covers. Oh. I don't have any sticky notes on them, but they're all still sealed. So so it's one through six. That's, I mean, it doesn't really do a lot of good to show you because it's just this. But see, that's number three. And uh, number four. Right? Number four? Yep. Apparently, there's something sexy happening in here. And the backs don't connect. Or do they? No, they don't. Five. Oh, wait, that's six. The last one was five. So, yeah, it's six books. I'm starting at six bucks. Oh, I see PSK's already in. Let me write down Ryan's. Okay. 
Ryan got that. Uh, PSK got the other one. Five. What's up, hot mustard? Yes, how are you? Okay, did that. Yeah, and uh, as far as I could tell, there's nothing wrong with them. I don't see any kind of like dings or, I mean, you can't really grade a book that's still sealed in a poly bag accurately. But if I was to go from the backs of the books, I would say they're all near mint. What number is that? That's number four. Wait, that's number one. What? No, that's the six on the front. So I see like, you can kind of see there's a tick on number one. It's really hard to tell with the bags. I don't even know if my camera's gonna let you see anything. Come with me to the spine slide if you want to live. Why won't it work? No, well, fuck it. It's not going to work anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Come with it's me. It's too bad all of the back covers Come don't connect. Me. That would be cool, too. Yeah, so. To a world of one through six. Imagination. Faithless 2. 1 through 6. The Tula Latoya Erotic Connecting Cover Set. There goes my camera. Oh, it focuses when it wants to. That's what it's yep. doing. All right, guys. We've got about 45 seconds left. Is PSK going to steal these for six yeah. bucks? It's a dollar a comic book. They had a $5 cover price on them. <laughs> the first sale of the night is always the best sale. That's right. It's always the steal of the deal. Let's 33 see. people in here. And nobody wants to see what these uh, if, if if whoever wins can say I want to see them and I'll pull them out and show you. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Yeah, that, not. that's Why a not? that's a really questionable plan. These are these are not like politely neutered. These are I was gonna say they're art. <laughs> All right. Art. That was the timer. I'm gonna go ahead okay. and drop that in line. PSK, good get. Six bucks. Nice pickup, bum. Now you can put them together at home, and you can send us a picture, and we'll show it on the stream next time. No, no, no. no. That's not how that works. No? Why not? Okay. Thank you very much. If there was multiple bidders, I was going to offer... <clears throat> A second set. Oh, geez. But since more than one people didn't bid, I, I didn't have hey, the opportunity. You know what? If PSK doesn't have, you know, like he, he's, he's okay with bidding on these. I bet you'll have somebody hit you up in the private about it. Oh, yeah. Because there's some people that don't want people to know they like to look at naked ladies. Uh huh. Exactly. There you go. That's fine. All right. Hit well, me up in the DM. You can slide into my DMs to get my oh. naked lady books. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. All right, we're going to move it on over to Doc. <laughs> what you got for us, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still flabbergasted there. <laughs> so we got a $2 pull box and uh, some goodies in there. I also have this waffle that we started last last Tuesday. Um, there's a total of 12 spots. There's only seven left. They're $10 a spot if you want a 9.4 white pages. Moon Knight number one. Seven spots. Let's get this done tonight so somebody goes home with it tomorrow. I got some Buy It Nows. I got a beautiful Adventure into Fear number 20. This is a 9.0 white pages. This is the first in the, it's the first title for Morbius uh, solo series. And this is a $75 bin. 9.0 9 white pages. It's a key. What's up, we got Green? It. What's that? Oh, I was just saying hi to the chat. Okay. Um, we got another another key. We got Marvel Spotlight, Son of Satan. This is the uh, Marvel Spotlight number 12. This is the first full appearance of Damien Hellstrom, who is Son of Satan. It's an 8.0 white pages. And this is a $60 buy it now. Nice. Troll Fire, Dapper Bum. Good to see you guys. 
we got a, uh, I don't know if you see the, uh, the uh, theme going on here. We got Chiller's, Giant Size Chiller's number one, Dracula, Curse of Dracula, first appearance of Lilith, his daughter. It's an 8.5 white pages. I love them white pages. This is a 175 buy it now. Uh, if, you, if you stick around later on, we got some high grade Tomb of Draculas and a Werewolf by Night with Dracula. That's going to come in a little later. Um, I'm going to start an auction. We're going to start the uh, we're going to start the auction off at sixteen dollars. All right. I only have three books, but we're going to start at $16. They're all high-grade X-Men. And we got the uh, the Jim Lee cover, 258. This is issue number 258. Look this book up alone. We got 252. And we have 253. Again, these are all in uh, near mid condition, and it's 16 for all three. If, if uh, I'm hoping uh, we get some bidding action here early on. All right, guys, sixteen dollars starting bid. Don't sleep on these. I love this artwork. Are they all Jim Lee's or just that one? Uh, just this cover is the Jim yeah. Lee cover. Jim Lee didn't do a lot of uh, Marvel, did he? Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, he did a number of X Men. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. He, again, he uh, he branched away afterwards, but you know, oh, this is this is all before that. Went to DC. He's got some really good YouTube videos. Oh, does he? On drawing and stuff. He's great. Nice. I don't know who that was. Somebody's puppy's crying. All right, guys, look these up. We got some X Men. Is anybody looking for some X Men? Sixteen dollars. These are all high grade. And if you have a chance to look up those horror books that I put up earlier, the bins, um, you're going to see that those are great prices. And feel free to hit me up on my Instagram, DocCopComics. Wow, nobody's looking for X-Men tonight. That's crazy. All right, I'll probably be taking these down if we don't get a bid. And, All right. Uh, let's see. All right, let's take those down. Nobody wants them. All right, we'll restart. We'll start the bidding off at $40 for this 9.6 white pages first appearance of Dylan Brock. Slayer, CGC. There we go. There we go, guys. Starting bid. 
40 bucks right there. First, Dylan Brock. And don't forget, I have the $2 full box if anybody wants. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that full box, guys. There's some good stuff in there. Everybody sleeping. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. 75 likes to do a giveaway, guys. We're at 26 right now. We got $40 starting bid for some Venom. First appearance of Eddie Brock, guys. Don't sleep on this. There's definitely meat on the bones here, boys, if you're flipping. If you're flipping books, there's a lot of meat on the bones here. Chris Barb's not in on this. All right. right. We gave it a shot. Thank you very much, T. All right. Go ahead. Drop the end line. Man. There we go. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Let me know what you guys want to see. Yes. Yes. If you guys are interested in something specific, let us know, guys, because we somebody has it, I'm sure. Guaranteed. All right. Thank you, Doc. We're going to move it on over to Nola. Nola, what you got for us here, Bob? What is up, my friends? How are, are we doing this evening? Well, you have a cat, too. Um, I'm not at home at the moment. That's a friend's cat. So, uh, All right, let's see. So we'll start off with some buy it nows. Some interesting things. This is, uh, this is a Tahani Farm metal cover. From Niobe and Durana. Uh, I'll give you a deal on a metal cover if you like to honey far. And if you don't, you're doing it wrong, but I'll be 50 bucks. Uh, have this gorgeous Neil Adams, House of Secrets, I believe 90, number 90. This is a uh, VF copy, and I will do this one for 50. Gorgeous Neil Adams cover. All right, so this one's a little different. This one might appeal to the, the Edwin Prices and his sort of the world. We see lots of double covers. <coughs> Uh, this is a double book. Mm. This is actually two copies of the same book stapled into one cover. And if you give me a sec, I'll show you the... So, there's the, the primary centerfold. And then... Hang on one sec, my friends. Here is the interior splash page next to the other centerfold. What in the hell? So as you can see, opening splash page, splash page to the second copy of the book. Golly. It's like a double feature of the same book. So this is literally... A second copy of the same book stapled into the centerfold of the first book. Now that is unusual. I'll do that for 125. 
And it's a nice looking copy too. It's uh yeah, Spider-Man 235. It's a nice looking clean copy. Very very yeah. interesting, very different. Definitely different. Never seen that. Exactly. Uh this one's gonna be pricey, but I'm gonna show it just in case. I know there's at least one person out there that wants to see it. So this is Planet Comics number one. If you're if you're not following the Dave Stevens phenomenon, this is the Dave Stevens book to own. A 9.6 raw copy just sold on eBay for $1,200 two days ago. That is a, a high-grade raw sold for $1,200. This book has never been opened. It, it does, there's no, no bin, no crack. It does have... Let me see if I can show them off. Come on, focus for me. There we go. So if you see right there at the tail end of the rocket, there's a little color break. So I put this at a 9.4 and I'm asking uh, 450. And it has pressable stuff. I, I, It will not reach a 9.8, but it certainly could reach a 9.6. Yeah. Looks like a 7.0. Thanks, Mystic. It's good to hear from you. Uh, here's my book for auction. All this right. is a Mandrake the Magician, number five, 1967. A very nice copy of this book. I'm going to start it for 20 bucks. All right. Double cover. There it is. What's up, so, I figure I'm just going to throw up some interesting, different kind of stuff tonight. See if anybody's intrigued. So this does have a little, a little scrape right here on the back. Um, but other than that, it's a really clean copy. Um, I would put it at a 7075 before press. Um, and like I said, what you're buying here primarily is Mandrake the Magician from 1967. You can see the white on it. It's, hold on one sec. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You can see the white. The white is very, very nice for a 50-year-old book. And again, wouldn't surprise me at all, MT. But here we go. This is why you want this one. If you are one of the people looking to dive into uh, the world of double covers and comic book error oddities, uh, this is a nice one. Again, uh, it's a yeah. book you don't see every day. Yeah, MT in at $20. So, somewhere or another, uh, I lost my bag and board, so I apologize. I'll put that back in in just a sec. All right, guys, we've got about three minutes left. Jixi, yeah, was... I have no idea what I'm doing, so I really appreciate all of your input, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Um, can only help make me a better comic book handler. Okay, well, I mean, you don't have to be here if you think it's a crime, so. All right, guys, we got about two minutes. <laughs> And 30 seconds left. <clears throat> um, get in on this. Don't sleep on this. This is a double cover. Uh, and this is uh, Mandrake the Magician, number five, 1967. Uh, I put it in a, a VF range. And this is go. a double cover book. 
It's funny though, before I started, like before I pulled it out of the bag, I had it as like an A5, but now that I've handled it, I've dropped it down to a seven. Oh, damn. Damn. Maybe by the end of the auction, I'll be able to afford it. Yeah. So there we go. Again, cool cover, aliens, UFOs. <laughs> Hey, listen, you know, um, there was only so much that we could take, and I, yeah, so. <laughs> so there we go. We got, All right. We got aliens, we got UFOs, 21. we've got magicians, we've got castles. I mean, what more could you want on a cover of a freaking comic book? Blind saucer. Yeah. Right there. Ooh, got it. it yeah. yeah. So, guys, if we get this up to 50, uh, I have a Howard the Duck 16, which is also a double cover. Ooh. <laughs> Why you got to go there? Why you got to go Ooh. there? So, Ooh, $50 brings in that second book, guys. <laughs> double cover. And if we, uh, okay, there we go. Both books, I'll show you this one in just a sec. We're at 50 bucks. Now, I'll tell you what, I think I said I had this double book right here at 125. Uh, if we get to 150, I'll throw in the double book. The double book at 150. So, right now, you've got these two double covers. I've showed you the Mandrake. Let me show you the Howard the Duck. <laughs> Free place. How come Paul never gets blocked? <laughs> <laughs> good question good again this was a 9-8 until just this second and now it's a 7-0 because I took it out of the bag <laughs> it is not a 9-8 but it is a nice looking copy again probably a VF copy and as I said tonight is the night for oddities and strange things so here we go here's your double cover double cover uh, and we're at MTs at 50 bucks. We got two double covers in right now. We're going to go we into got Howard the Duck number 16. Teresa's sleeping. Oh, we got Pearson in. What's up, Pearson? Yeah, bum. Good to see you. 51. We have Mandrake there. from 1967. This is an old double cover from King Comics. King Kirby, but King Comics. So we got both of these going. And again, if we get to 150, I will throw in this double book, which is a single cover with two copies of the same book inside of it. Always hard to find the perfect page. Give me a sec. There we go. So here's the centerfold for the first copy, and here's the splash page for the second copy, which is stapled directly into the centerfold of the first book. Wow, it's crazy. So what, all right guys, we're at Up, Luigi. All right, I'm gonna be dropping that mm. end line. Like this is, a, this is probably a 90 copy. It's a nice copy. So we got these two at 60 bucks. Two double covers. Howard the Duck the end line. Man Drake number five. There it and is. This is line. And again, my friends, if there's any of these that you're interested, including this uh, very nice Planet Comics, well, some of this other stuff, hit me up. MT went to 66 a little bit late. Leap in there, bum. <laughs> so who won this? Uh, Pearson for 60 bucks. Pearson at $60. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. These, okay, good to see ya. these would be yours. Feel free to uh, hit me up on Instagram and uh, let me know. There's no premature end line. I put, warned everybody. Stop. 
All right. Thank you, Nola. I appreciate it. We're going to move it on over to this guy if he's not sleeping. Thanks, guys. Roman. Roman. I'll go Roman. Are you, are you home? Hey, you know what? Roman. It's no Paul Tuesday. You should be happy and ready to come on. Let's go. What has happened to Roman? We'll have to. I don't know. We'll have to change him in the order when he comes to. He hasn't been here since the since we came on air because we couldn't um, get him back at eight thirty. Well, yeah, he's searching for the AOL discs. Yep, that's it. Exactly. That's what it is. All right, we're gonna jump on over to Jackal. What you got for us? Oh, is it my turn? Okay. Yep. Yeah. You're yeah. right after Roman, so. Yes, that's right. I am. Um, first of all, I just want to say um, I've been gone. Uh, I've been out a couple of weeks. Um, uh, miscellaneous family type health issues have kept me um, uh, completely covered up. And uh, I did get some books shipped out today. If you're expecting books and haven't gotten them, Hit me up and let me know for sure. Um, thank you, Replay. Um, but uh, I've got stuff to ship. A lot. I've got a lot of boxes for people. Sometimes uh, I don't know exactly when people want their boxes sent. So um, hit me up. Uh, I've got some people with some really great stuff in boxes. But like I said, all you got to do is hit me up. We'll get them to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to, I'm, uh, I don't have my board up because like I said, a lot's been going on the last two weeks when I went to the show Saturday, a couple weeks ago, um, or Saturday, a week ago or whatever. I have not brought it back in and set it back up yet. Um, but, uh, I will get that set up hopefully this week for the vintage show. Um, I thought those were great books that, um, nola was showing i just thought i'd flip real quick and just let you all see this is truly this book i have here this is truly the worst uh misprint that i have ever seen um i was leafing through this book when i got it a long time ago or whatever and all of a sudden the page just started pages just started running one on to each other and then they got worse and worse and worse and uh i didn't know what to make of it that whole book is a screw up so you never know what you're really gonna see in the comic world but i have not seen a double book like the one that he showed yeah those are crazy huh yeah um i'm gonna uh I tell you what I'm going to do, Teresa. I've got a uh, pretty decent. I'm calling it a six zero. Yeah, it's at least a six zero. I'll show it to everybody. Um, I got first Fire Lord here. Try to liven things up a little bit uh, tonight. I'll start this at uh, shenanigans. We'll start Ooh. start this at a dollar. All right. Looks pretty good. I'm thinking, let's see. Yeah, yeah, not Ooh. bad. Profile says take some all. bubble gum. Take some bubble gum and put it on the back of that that uh, comic and yeah. put it on the wall. Give them oh, and it up. does have <laughs> Marvel value stamp. Ooh. So anyway, here you go. A One dollar. dollar. A dollar to start a fire lord. That ought to wake some people up. Once again, I may have undergraded it now, a little bit. Now, is that first him, really or is that, is that, that's first him, right? I'm sorry, what? That's first him, right? No, I'm that's first Fire Lord. Lord. Fire Lord. Okay. First Fire sorry. Lord. Sorry. Right. First Fire Lord. My bad. Harold O. Galactus. I know him has like a, a cover like that too, so that's why I was asking yeah, a little bit. It's got a golden type dude on it. Yeah, yeah. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we got Jack in at 21. Three places back at 25. He was much more powerful as a 25 center than I think as a 50 center when Spider-Man was beating the crap out of him. Uh, so don't know what happened to the Fire Lord there. Got cops in at 27. You got his attention. Ooh, much slaughter. What's up, you guys? Good to see y'all. Well, we did get a little, like I said, that did wake up a few people. Yes, yes. If you guys are just getting here, please make sure you guys are smashing that like button. We appreciate it. Second most popular Herald of Galactus. All oh, right. Okay. okay. All right. Brief plays is in at 31. We got some traction on this book here. We got some people woke up, Mr. Price. Hope everybody's well in your family or as well you as they can be. That. <laughs> Rhino, Rhino amazes the spider plant. I, I remember the cover of that magazine. Yeah, he was just whooping the crap out of it. David Anderson, I think this is DC. You can go ahead and dig. <laughs> David Anderson's into some Marvel stuff these days. Uh, He's I know, around. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm just teasing him. He's got no David, choice. David is getting hard for me to sell to. He's got better Batman stuff than I've got now. So he, oh dang, he is he is really uh, uh, being hard at it. So, and That's he was great. getting into he's getting into Green Lantern and all those good things. So, all the OG stuff, the great. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. David Anderson, I would love to see your Batman collection. Oof. He's got oh, some. Nice, he's got some nice stuff. Uh, yeah, I have seen some of it before. I've seen him at shows, leaving with a bag full of just dandy stuff, detectives and Batman's. <laughs> Paul would be a good hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Mr. Galactus, sir, I swam around the carrier three times. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got about two minutes left. It looks like Brie Plays is leading the charge here at $31. Is anybody else going to challenge him? I saw Jack was in there somewhere. He'll be selling his charity boxes pretty soon. Oh, yeah. So, Definitely uh, get in on that, you guys. Those are great yeah, boxes. Yeah, I'm, I'm in on it when he puts them up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hit him up last year, and I, I absolutely love the books that he sent me. Yep, so. yep. And he, he really did a great job on... There's the going to be several prizes in those boxes. I know yes. that for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We got about a minute and a half left. Um, we will be going into overtime since there are all there are multiple active bidders. So. I'd already taken it out and shown it to everybody, so you saw what the front and the interior and everything looked like. Uh, so. I hope I didn't reduce the grade any. If, wow. if I've re if I've reduced the grade by taking books out of bags, then by now my amazing fantasy is probably a minus point five or something. So. I was going to say, Edwin, why don't you grab one of your AF-15s and pull it out and show it to us out of the bag? I right. can. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, if you're. If you're if you're willing to risk that grade drop that comes from just picking a book out of a bag. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't hesitate to take my books out of bags. That's why I've cracked a lot of them. Um, yeah, before. definitely. Um, but uh, you just have to be careful. I mean, I know when I used to be in the store business, I mean, we had a lot of good customers and guys that were really good with comics. And I saw one absolutely destroy. He bought a copy of... Um, uh, Tales to Astonish 57 with the Spider-Man appearance and the first thing he did was stick the tape to the cover and I said don't and he pulled it off I was gonna uh, gonna say you know you can a lot of times you can salvage them uh, if they get stuck lightly stuck but he didn't so man that's crazy it is 
Wow, look at that. David Anderson's at 22,000 books. And his Batman run goes from 149 to today. Now, how's that? That's pretty That's cool. awesome. That's impressive. All right, guys, you got about 30 seconds left. Replays is running this. $31. While we're the clock's ticking down, we'll, <laughs> we'll bring in small Paul to say hey to everybody. So. <laughs> oh. Uh, small see. Paul did very well with his, um, um, he did very well with his uh, pop up Saturday did, night. Did he? He did, yeah. I was only in there. For I just a happened. Bit. I, w I didn't get a chance to watch, but uh, I went and looked at the stats and everything. So, okay. okay so the winner is replays for thirty one dollars. Replay, yes, sir. Got it. Replay. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back for a round or two, Lord willing. I do, we'll have to cut out a little early, but it looks like we have plenty. Of people and I'm hoping Roman's going to wake up on us. I hope yes, so too. replay will do, oh. sir. Thank you. I hope he wakes up. I hope he wakes up, but not on us. That would be awful. Well, uh, right. <laughs> wake All up right, among, we're gonna among on, us. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're actually going to jump on over to this guy and see if he is awake. Roman, are you That's awake? That's the Roman. Hey, while we're. Hey, there he is. There it's go. Roman, Roman, oh, the magical alive. boy. They call him Roman, Roman, faster than lightning. That's um, awesome. And yeah, that's now he's gone. Right gone. <laughs> it's sharp than he. David Anderson, by the way, that is an amazing accomplishment, dude. That's yes. sick. Yes. Great. Oh, I've got a request here, Roman. Do it in the box lot. What's in the box? Maybe that was for Edwin. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, I tried. I'm looking at the picture. I'm trying to get the picture together for the longest. It's just so blurry. Uh, now you more trying to sell a book. All right, that, that, that's my stream yard. I'll try to sell a book then, I guess. Let's do it. Whatever. I have faith in you. You're looking, no, looking no, okay no. on my screen. On, uh, I'm looking at YouTube right now. You, that's what counts. Yeah. Everybody's in. Usually my stream yard looks great, but my YouTube looks terrible. That's... Uh... I found these. I, I don't collect Fantastic Four, so I found these hidden away somewhere. I got books everywhere. Um, ten dollars starting bid. How about that? All right. I think we all have books everywhere. Man, that picture is hard. Oh, that is sorry. That's actually the best your camera's looked in a week or so, buddy. I've been sitting here messing with it for a while. I mean, I sent y'all a message earlier. That I, if he sends me the thing, I'm log I was I logged in before six. Your camera, you're looking, you're looking good on my screen. No, so. it ain't Streamyard style, but it's the work. Yeah. I'm gonna go cut the TV off another room. <laughs> Everything is dragging. Oh, so let's get this started. We got four random Fantastic Four books here. First up, we got a uh, issue 189. We got a little Paul appearance. <laughs> Next up, we got a uh, issue 238. Quasimodo. <laughs> <laughs> Sellers, can you guys please put your buyers in the private chat, please, just so I can make sure I'm staying up on it? Nope. 
Next up, we got issue 124. Try and take it slow there. Everybody can try to see the book. Oh, you know what? Actually, when you're doing that, when it's going slow, it's working. Just so you know. Yes, it is. Return of the monster from the lagoon. Look at that. And last issue. Seems to be like a VG plus issue 90. Roman Roman stole an X Men ninety four from me Thursday night. Did he? I That's thought somebody steal. I thought somebody might outbid me, but I was trying. You got it, buddy. I got so much stuff on the way. I don't even know what's down in the mailbox. He got an he got an eight oh slab Gen two label ninety four for six hundred and sixty dollars. So those are the four. Those the four right there. Let's see if make sure ain't no warning here. Mm-hmm. All right, we got MT in at twelve. Thank you, Steve. Steve thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you always coming in and leaving a thumb. Yeah, it's the magic of YouTube. All you got to do is start a YouTube channel, and you can do whatever you want to with it. Phenomenal. Ha ha! Where are we at? We are at twelve dollars. At twelve dollars, okay. Yeah. MT in the comments. Lead. Let's have some fun then. Um. These are all Fantastic Four. Keep with the Fantastic Four rhythm there. At $25, I'll throw uh, another Fantastic Four book in. Related. Related to Fantastic Four. If we got any Fantastic Four fans, it's a mystery. At $25. So right now we got $189 in. We got 238. When did Burns start doing the Fantastic Four? Uh, no, no, you remember? Nah, but I can look it up real quick. There's Mr. Burns right there. I'm, just not, I'm not an FF guy. I'm not an FF guy either. Only the really important ones. <laughs> this is 124. And this is 90. Ooh. 232. So, so that was 238. Um, 232 so, to 295. I got a I got a mystery book here. It's Fantastic what? Four in the book. You know, uh think uh your clue is think uh think Mr. Price there. Think think Mr. Price is your clue. At twenty five dollars I throw the book in. Hmm. You guys don't sleep on these these uh, it, clues that he it, does. They're fire. Is it the first appearance of Methuselah? No, but Fantastic Four is in the book. <laughs> they are in the book. They're completely sorry. about the, uh, part of the story. It's about a 7 0 and thank Mr. Price. So, Mr. Price sorry, Edwin. Him. That was low hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> At $25, I throw it in. All right, we're at twelve dollars, guys. Thirty seconds left. Twenty-five bucks comes in the next book. All right. A cop says, "I'll be your Huckleberry." Twenty-five. Let's go. Uh, issue one thirty-three, Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four, and it's a Mark Jula. Nice. It's a Mister Price Mark Jula. (laughs) Oh. Oh, it's a pedigree book. (laughs) <laughs> it's the jackal pedigree. That's right, jackal pedigree. Nice John. I don't know John Burns. I forgot if he did all the art. Was the John Burns cover? Mark right. Jr. Seven O. That's in a lot now. 
Willie Limpkin. Who is Willie Limpkin? Tony, what's up, buddy? That's issue 90. You, sir. Tony, I hope you got your box. All right, we got 30 seconds left in overtime here, guys. 189. At 60 saying next. What's next to come in? We're at 25. I got a... Okay, 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 okay. Because I'm, I'm selling these tonight. Yeah, well, he started at 232. Went for six years, so like 295 or something like that. All right, guys. Somebody better throw in an underbid to add in another book. What is this? 24. Slightly, All right. Slightly, slightly, slightly uh... uh where, 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 what's the bid at? We're at 25 right now, sir. Okay, 30 bucks. I throw in another... Mark Jeweler at 30 bucks. Whoa. Slightly. Another Mark Jeweler. Marvel 2 on 1, the thing. Slightly, uh, you know, Fan 34 and Stingray at 30 bucks. That comes in at 30. And that's another Mark Jewelers? Man. All right, guys. 30 bucks. Going to be dropping the end line here. Five seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. All right. Dropping the end line. There we go. Dot oh. cop. Hey, Teresa, before you go to the next person, can you hand me the camera for a sec? Absolutely. All right. So, Mystic Traveler, dude, we love having new people, and we're very, very happy that you're here. But we all kind of do things our own way, and we're all going to continue to do things our own way. And if that doesn't appeal to you, um, that's okay. But it would be nice if you kept that to yourself. And if you're interested in selling... You need to get into contact with either MT. Uh, actually, MT is by far your best bet. So if you want to try and figure out a way to contact him, that would be the path to take. So there you go. Hope yeah. you enjoy the show. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. I'm going to do promos really quick, and then we're going to jump on over to – or we're going to do our races for a spot on the waffle. All right, guys. Strictly Comics uh, – uh, no, uh, MT will drop his email. You'll have to reach out to him. Uh, just FYI. So, we've got song. Affordable Auction Comics Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays starting at 5.30 Pacific time, you guys. Make sure you guys jump on in and check these guys out. Uh, they do phenomenal things, and the show's never canceled. So, we're always on. Whether uh, we can be here or not, somebody's always filling in for us. So, um We've got a great group of panels, panel members, and they're very uh, trusted sellers, and we appreciate them being here um, every week. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. We got we got more panels than the 1970s basement. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. If you go give us a follow over on Facebook and Instagram at Strictly Comics Group with an X, Please make sure you guys go do that at uh, the 100 followers. We will be, uh, our MT is going to be giving away a slab. If we can get um, Facebook followers up there, uh, banner, hold on, email. I got it, yeah. Teresa. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Um, you guys, we have a vintage comic auction Saturday on April 6th. So please make sure you guys come check these guys out. Uh, there's some phenomenal books some rare hard to find books that you wouldn't normally see so um they're getting dusted off and getting ready to be shown on camera so make sure you guys come check this out this weekend actually this saturday so uh some phenomenal um insane books that you wouldn't necessarily see uh, similar to what nola was showing earlier uh, but most of it's golden age um and silver age that you'll be seeing up, up on the screen so make sure you guys come check us out all right, then we got the whale auction on April 20th. Please make sure you guys um, 
Captain Ramius. All right, please make sure you guys come check us out. A minimum of a hundred dollars starting bid. There's key books, there's grails and white whales. Lots of killer books. I've seen some insane books get put up here. Uh, so make sure you guys come check these guys out on April 20th. If you guys think we have, they have big books now, um, make sure you guys check the, these out because they'll bring even bigger books. So, uh, and then we got the Madhouse. Uh, go give them a follow over on their YouTube, uh, Madhouse Comics and Collectibles. Um, it is, um, yeah, it is. Look at the PayPal. It's mst1 at pct.edu. There you go. All right, Madhouse Comics and Collectibles comic auction over on YouTube. Um, make sure you guys go give them a follow. If we don't have an auction going on, they do. So they're on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So make sure you guys go check them out. All right, and then we're gonna move up here to the rings. We're gonna do this really quick. Let's turn this off and- you what they're going for again? Arm. One spot on the waffle. On the waffle. Yes, Mystic Traveler. Contact him on the PayPal address email. Thank you. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Um, shuffle. One, two, and three. There we go. Good luck. Oh, I like that. This is a different one. Hey, what's up, Dan? How you doing, brother? Sorry, I wasn't looking. Who won? Doc Cop. Doc Cop. Oh my goodness, Doc Cop! You get a spot on the wheel on the on the on the waffle. On the Gotta waffle. get it out of the bag. See, this is the official list of everyone that's got a spot. Now, Doc Cop got spot. There you go. Five spots left now. Five dollars a spot. If anybody wants one, shipping oh. included. Are we going to show the second round giveaway first, or are you going to yeah. go straight to me? Hot cup. What you got for the second round? We got to make their saliva glands start salivating and want to buy so they can win this. I know, right? Sorry. I mean, we'd never seen that race, so I had to put it up. So. Do you have the second round giveaway, Doc? Yes, yes, I have uh, seven pulls from the $2 pull box. He's gonna be okay. the uh, second prize. Sweet. All right, Dang. perfect. I need to buy something oh. so I can get in on oh. that. All right, we're gonna move it on over. All right, you guys heard that, seven pulls from Doc. Oh, Mr. Okay. Doc. I'm gonna go through some more five $5 bins and then we'll get into the auction. I hope people like Miles Morales still. I got a great big lot of Miles Morales books. So let's get into it. $5 claims. You just tell me when to stop. I got I got stacks and stacks of them. So uh, first one up, we got a Marvel Fanfare number one, VF Plus copy, $5. This is a direct, that's an early direct, just so you're aware. Yeah, it's a cool Sora on cover too. I believe that's sore. Wait, that's sore. I hope yeah, you're doing sore. good. Sorry. Five bucks. Transformers, number 25. EF near mint. You get all the little cassette tape guys in this one. But no GoBots. So if Paul's here, I'm sorry. Don't have GoBots for you. Here is an unread near mint or better copy of Batman Judge Dread. What's it called? The Judgment. Near Mint Plus, $5. Is 
CFAP, same thing, brother, man. We hope everything's well with you. Hope you uh, be able to hang out a little longer sometime soon. Heck yeah, Big Jim. I hope you're doing good, brother. There's an ASM number five. This is the Philip Tan exclusive from Unknown Comics. Near Mint Minus. It has a little ding somewhere on it, I believe. I don't, don't know we all? I graded this a while ago. It hasn't changed, though. It's still Near Mint Minus for $5. I mean... <clears throat> That's kind of a no-brainer if you like Spider-Man and exclusives. Here's a uh, we're a Weird World number one by Edward Edgar Rice Burroughs. Tarzan. Uh, this is a good, very good copy for $5. If you like that run and you need a number one, that's a very affordable way to get one. $5. Um, here is uh, Batman 94. Uh, the variant. I think this is... Uh, Middleton, near men or better, five dollars. There's something special about that. I don't know. Uh, here's an amalgam uh, generation hex number one newsstand, near mint for five dollars. Or yeah, five dollars. I have this price at eight dollars. It's five dollars though. Ben WW, which one's WW? Oh, Weird World. Gotcha. Steven Spock. That's my dog. Okay. Uh, next up is a uh, 25th anniversary cloak and dagger. <clears throat> Number nine. I got this at a VF near mint. Five dollars. Uh, here's an invincible Iron Man. Number four. Near mint. I don't know if this is some kind of Riri key or something. It might be when she gets her uniform, her uniform, her suit. I don't really know, but it's five dollars and it's near mint. Um, here's a variant to King in Black number one. There were so many variants that came out to this, but this is near men or better, never been read. It's been bagged and boarded since the day it was sold. I bought like the whole set when they came out and uh, never touched any of them. Uh, um, Ryan's taking your Iron Man. Oh, oh, oh. See, I didn't even see that. It just now came up. Gotcha. Ryan McDonald. Um, here's a variant to Ultimate Death of Spider-Man number two. Stony, you bum. Good to see ya. I'm not sure who did this. It doesn't say. I just know it's a variant. They didn't do a lot of variants back then, so, uh, yeah. Near Mint Minus. Hitch. Hitch did this one. It's wrote on the back. <laughs> here's a second print for Poe Dameron number one. Guy to see you. Uh, here's the first cameo of Vigilante. It's a new Teen Titans 35 in a newsstand near Mint for $5. It's a good book. With a present to clean, you send this off. You can get one of those ones people put on eBay for way too much money. Um, here is the uh, Millennium Edition for Mad Number no. 1. Um, it's, yeah, so it's put out in 2000. They did these. Uh, it's a VF near mint copy for five bucks. He's looked these things up. Like, I was so surprised that they were even valuable. But some of them go for crazy money. What's up, James Willie? Willie, uh, I, got, I got two more here. Here's a, a Warlock 13. What's the appearance of Star Thief? Uh, I got this at a VG for five bucks. Could definitely benefit from a press and clean. I didn't press and clean it or anything. Um, and the last book I have is Uncanny X-Men 175, The Marriage of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor. If you're watching the cartoon, that happened. Wait. Five bucks. This is a VF copy. That's on my Spoilers! I'm sorry. I forgot about spoilers. It's been two weeks since that came out, right? All right. Let's get into an auction. So, uh. Or six have, days, whichever you prefer. Has it been six? Yeah, I guess it's... Well, in, in a couple hours, it'll have been seven. Um, it's a big chunk of uh, Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Got a couple covers for number one. Let me count how many there are. So it goes up to 17, so I'm assuming there's 18 here. Well, good to see you. 12. 
yeah, there's 18 books here, so we'll start it at 18. That's one dollar a book. It is Miles Morales, number one through number 17, and there's two covers for number one. There's that one. That's the variant, and then there's I believe that's like the regular cover. For number one these are all near mint too i've read once put into these are in mylars with self-sealing they don't even have tape on them it's freaking crazy uh number two you can put the starting line down it's gonna it's I probably gonna take you five minutes to go to. number three how much are we what's the starting bit? starting at 18 dollars all right 18 bucks one through 17 with two copies of number one, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. I believe this is the current run. I could be wrong. I don't read it, so I don't know. This is uh, Vilgar, Ziggar, Ziggler, Ziggler. I can't read. That's why I'm, I don't, I look at the pictures in my funny books. That's number That's four, right? Don't number you draw? Four. Don't have two. Number five. <laughs> Number six. It says, what is that? It's the Carnage Rain. Oh, that's a cool cover. Carnage is going to slice his throat. Take that, Miles. Here's another Carnage Rain. And that's number seven. That's number eight. It's got that Obgoblin cover swipe from the ASM. Number nine. John Ramita. Is that the John Romita variant? It just says, oh, Marvel remembers John Romita. I didn't know they ever did this. I don't really buy a lot of new comics. Here's a uh, number 10. That looks like the Flash. <laughs> number 11. Number 12. Uh, Gang War. Number 13. I remember Gang War just came out. 14. All right. That's 14. Yeah. 15. 16. And 17. So that's the whole lot. The whole bamboozle. The whole shebang. The whole kit and caboodle. That's the variant where he's making out with some chick with wings, Tyler Christopher maybe, it says TC down at the bottom. That's a pretty cool cover for number one. And two. And three. And What's that, Fulton? Good to see you. I'm sorry? Like I said, these are all in Mylars, which uh, I bought a collection and every book was in a Mylar. It was crazy. Even dollar books, he had them in Mylars. So they're all Silver Age Mylars. And so I have been taking the dollar books out and putting my amazing Spider-Man collection into Mylars. <laughs> these are still in the Mylars though. That's an awesome cover. It's mm -hmm. just like the cover wow. swipe that they did it from. Yeah, it's a hobgoblin. Let's see, a little quick math. It's $4 cover uh, with 18 books is over $50. <laughs> it's cover price. It's so $22, $22 over $50 to be precise. There you go. You'll know when you get close to cover price when you get that high. Oh, we lost the Doc Cop. Doc Cop, what? What? We didn't he lose Oh, Doc Cop. How could you? <laughs> in my uh, my next slot, in case anybody wants to chime in on it now, it can either be Venom. I got a run of Venom books. I think it might be the current run, or it's not the Kate's run, so I think it's the current run. I got a big chunk of that from one. And I uh, also have a lot that involves Void Rivals, 
and Cobra Commander and uh, Duke and Transformers. So if anybody's into that, I got a bunch of that stuff. It's going to go up tonight. Aaron Johns and Juno Fluke, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you guys throwing up some bids. How many books is this, Barb? It's 18 books total. There's two number ones. These are both the number ones. 18 books for $40. 18. We're barely over $2 a book. It's $4 yeah. cover price. Yeah, and like I said, they're all in Mylar's. They're all in Silver Age Mylar's, so they're not in there super tight, you know. Um, read once and then put away. Are you doing this, Noah? Well, you missed Juno Fluke, so I didn't know if you were here, so I went to hit Tony. <laughs> I'm always here. Such a problem. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. I'm, I'm just trying. I am just trying to be helpful. I apologize for trying to be helpful. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in overtime. Tony, NY. Gonna reset that timer. What's up, Karen? Well, it's good to this see you. This is something tonight. new for me. Selling new stuff. Like I very seldom ever get like stuff that came out this year <laughs> i always find old stuff like that's what i'm drawn to the most so i don't know anything about new stuff for the most part one of these is a hundred dollar book then congratulations <laughs> i know the one that looks like uh the asm hobgoblin book like that's cool to me i like it i didn't even know that they did that uh cover swipe in this run What's up, Mary? Your mom. See ya. Hope you're doing well today. That's cool. Look at the pumpkin bomb in that one. This shit just looks badass. That's who did these. I can't read it. It's a, a very... I don't know whose initials that is. But they're doing a fine job. They're doing an excellent job of drawing comic books, in my opinion. <laughs> All right. We're at $51. Aaron Jones gonna walk away with this one. Nope. I need to look and see. I have some giveaways that people hadn't claimed, and I can't remember if Farron has. I, I want to say Farron has a giveaway. I have to look and see. So, you know, just throwing that out there. If you do, then you'll have some of your shipping covered. But. I honestly don't remember. I have a box that I put all the giveaway stuff in it. People don't reach out to me. I, I just leave it there until they win something from me. And then I surprise them with free shipping <laughs> up to a certain I, This right here, I would have to ship in a box because it's 18 bucks. I, I understand the dollar bids work, but you know, if you go like 10 bucks, you might just drive all these other people out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If I hadn't taken my pain meds, I'd be complaining about my back hurting, but I'm feeling great right now. Oh, well, sweet. <laughs> I'm holding all these heavy-ass books up here. Not a single care in the world. <laughs> oh, please. Come on. I mean, it really does hurt right now, but it's not well, so we bad. just we just passed the $3 a book mark, so. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Y'all are the best. That's such a cool cover, too. I just bought another collection yesterday, so I'll have a whole bunch of new, fresh stuff to be able to put up. If, uh, if you're on Instagram and you go to my claim sales, I'll have all new dollar stuff. Most of it was dollar books. I found a couple of little surprises in there, but it's going to be great. I don't usually have a lot of new DC, and it's tons of good DC stuff. All right, here we go. Dropping that end line. Okay. Baron John. Looks like he might be taking it. Oh, Tony Robin. came in. Tony beat it on the. On oh, that. all right. Reset my book. <laughs> Go, guys. And then Aaron came right back at 60. I look at this as this is how I look at new stuff. Like how you're buying it right now is the reason I don't buy new stuff off the rack. Because I know eventually I'll be able to get it cheaper than cover price. And if you're buying it to read it, like. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? Teresa, I'm shaking, I'm shaking my fist at you. I am? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Here we go. Drop the end line again. What you got to do, Tony? You got to let him take it from you? There it is. 
Okay. Boom. All right. Congrats, Farron John. You are the winner. And I, I'll look. I'll have to message you tomorrow because my wife's asleep in the room that has all of my sales stuff in it as far as stuff that's been claimed. But uh, as far as the shipping goes, if I don't already have something for you, then it's 15 to ship and we can start a box or I can ship what's there for, I, I don't know, if it's if it's less than 15, I would just give you the difference back. But uh, I, I want to say that I have a, a giveaway book in there. And if I do, then that's 10 bucks of the shipping that's already covered. There we go. All right. Thank you, Barb. Appreciate you. We're going to move on over to this guy. Mark, what you got for us today? Hey. Hey, that was a nice round there, Barbarian. Mm-hmm. All right. We still got the uh, Moon Knight 9.4 white page waffle spots. We got, we only have seven spots left. Again, there's a total of 12 spots. $10 a spot. Get in on it. Let's try to get this, get rid of that tonight. We have a uh, couple of bins here. Again, we have a $2 full box, if anyone's interested. We have a Rory's Hell 8.5 uh, CBCS slab, and this is a $50 buy now. Again, this is not an easy book to find. Rory's Hell number one. MT will take a spot on your uh, waffleage. You got it, MT. <clears throat> And we got a Power of Warlock number one. This is an 8.0 off white to white pages, PGC. And this is uh, a $175 buy it now. Does B mean uh, something to you, Doc? What's that? I think he said 50 bucks, MT, which is a steal for the Ward's Elf Lab. Yeah, does someone want it? I don't uh, know. MT's asking how much it was. Fifty dollars for the Warriors Hell. Damn. I feel about ninety-nine percent certain he will end up buying it, but he has not yet. Let me know. Yeah. Got a for ten dollars. Buy it now. I got high grade aliens versus president predator number one and number two. Ten dollar buy it now for the bolt for the pair. Yep, nice. he bend it. Yep. You got it, MT. We got a 9.8 white pages. First appearance of Bane, then just a Bane number one, first print, white pages. This is a 240 buy it now. Please look at what this is going for, what yeah, this is a, sold for on eBay. That's a killer deal. Buy it now, it's a great deal. And the auction is going to be a build a lot. It's going to be Silver Age build it. And I'm going to start it out at fifty dollars. And this is this is a high grade Detective Comics 369. This is the first team up of Batgirl and Robin, Silver Age. Give you some close up on it. This is a solid VF minus. Oh, that's a nice. And, and again, book. look at what this book has sold for in VF minus condition. It's up in the 250s. getting harder and harder to find detective comics and batman comics silver age and high grade what number what? is it yeah this is 369 369 All right. So first, first 
what is it? First appearance of Batgirl with Robin? This this is the first team up of Batgirl and Robin. All right, guys, we got three minutes on the clock. This is a builder lock. This I would have put I would have put this at an eight zero except for this this corner right here. That's just, that's the only thing that's putting it at a seven five. Wow. Otherwise, this is a VFO bag. Guys, remember, Detective three sixty nine is a Silver Age book. This is a twelve cent book. This is the first meeting of Batgirl and Batman and Robin in a very high grade for this era. 7.5 is a remarkable grade for a 50, 60 year old book. Again, a lot of meat on this. If, uh, <clears throat> if this gets up to 70, a high grade Superman, 174 comes in. Oh my goodness. So how much does, or what's the next book to come in? This will come in at 70. If we get to 70 right now, this was trying to get 50 on here. And again, a lot, this is the key book. A lot of, you know, a lot of people start to build the lots with the non keys. This is a key issue. Again, first team up with Robin and that, uh, that, that girl. Take your time. Look it up on eBay right now. The sold. What, what was the VF minus sold for on eBay? On the yeah. Books? It's in the 200s. Wow. You guys are getting a steal at 50 bucks. Very clean book. Good colors. All right. Luigi's in at 50. That second book comes in at 70. <clears throat> Superman. Luigi. <laughs> It's a me and Luigi. And Luigi, I'll give you a choice either that the Superman comes in or this Fantastic Four number 99 comes in. Your choice. Ooh, the crossing the dollars. streams. Crossing the streams. <laughs> hey, all right. Hey, sometimes that's fun. All right, David right Anderson was named. This is a 50, Luigi. 70 will bring in either FF99 or the uh, Superman 174. All right, see Fab dude. Get some sleep. Keep getting better, buddy. Later, yeah. Big Jim. Hope you're doing well. All right. Another one, 51. There you go, Edward. I know what he wants. He likes this. Gonna put us into overtime. That's a nice, that's a pretty cover so the superman book comes in at 70 you guys either your choice either superman comes in at 70 or the ff99 comes in at 70 your choice this is a i think this is infantino this is a oh this is a gil kane cover this yep i was about to say that is a gil kane cover yeah I love the way he did background. All right, we're it is the uh, Infantino interiors, though. All right, Luigi's in. Fifty-two. Yes, is 18 asking more, about eighteen feet. more dollars. This comes in, or this comes in for eighteen more dollars. Barb, what's do up? You have, do you have any Dark Knight Batman metal tie-in comics? I have a bunch of them. Okay, somebody's asking for him in chat. Bunches. Who is it? <clears throat> TSCS. TSCS. Um, I can pull them out and show them to you on my next round. 
And then you can just message me on Instagram. Are you on Instagram, TSDS? If you are, then that will work perfect because I haven't really processed that section of the collection I bought, but I can pull them out and show you what I got. Tons of them. I got original run, all that stuff, but I'm not, I'm not going to interrupt Doc Cop anymore. <laughs> no worries. So I'm going to switch it to a 30 second timer here. I know I should have just left it. But... All right, now, so far, this is in at 53. Edwin Price, the Silver Samurai. We'll deal with that in just a second, TSCS. <clears throat> Go ahead and drop that end line. It looks like Edwin is going to be winning this for fifty-three dollars. Good job, Edwin. <clears throat> All right, TSCS Barbarians email uh, is not on here. I'm, so. I'm typing it in the private chat right now. All right. All right. Edwin, Edwin Price took that for fifty-three dollars. Congrats, congrats. All right, we're gonna move it on over to this bomb. Oh, why well, I gotta be a bum all the time? Because you are. Why oh, you gotta be a bum? Ooh, I like that. Do it again. No? Oh. I don't want to put out my music. Other people might steal it from me and then uh, I won't cool. get the money. <laughs> Fair. All right. Uh, I'm going to put this back up for a bite now again. This is House of Secrets 90. This is a Neil Adams cover. It's in really. Uh, let's say an 8.0 or better. One of my favorite Neil Adams covers. Uh, we'll do a 90 bucks. I'm sorry, that is completely off. 50 bucks. I don't know why I said 90. MT got me all rattled by talking about how he needs a mulligan. Well, MT, you want a mulligan on my, my non double cover but double book? Uh, I'll do this one for a hundred bucks this time. This is uh, again this book. I, if we need to see it again, I'll show it again. But this book has uh, now. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna throw this up for auction. Seventy bucks. Seventy bucks for the double book. That'll be my auction. Oh boy, he's crazy. I mean, we've got people who collect oddities and stuff in here, and they're telling you that they've never seen one of these. I know I have never seen one of these. I'd much less have never held one of these. Um, but this is literally two of the exact same book stapled into one cover. And here is, the, here is the splash page. Sorry. Here is the splash page for the first copy of the book. Here is the... Uh, I'm sorry, my words are all messed up. Here is the centerfold for the first copy of the book. Here is the splash page for the second copy of the book. And then the centerfold for the second copy of the book is the centerfold for the entire book. Very weird. I'll be right back. All right, guys. <clears throat> um, PSCS, really quick. Um, there, his uh, email address is right here. I just dropped that. So, you guys, this ASM is up for seventy bucks right now, guys, and it is a double book. He just showed you both of the inserts, the middles, the middle of the book, guys. Oh. An oddity. And it's uh, like I said, it's probably a VF plus near mint minus copy to boot. It's a very weird book to look through. <laughs> you get halfway through and then you start over. And then you finish it and you still have half the book left. So there's that.
All right, guys, we've got about four minutes left on that timer. If you guys are thinking about it, ask questions if you're if you got more questions or anything. So, really there cool are, look, though. You guys don't see are, double. If there are any Tahani Far fans out there, this is an absolutely gorgeous metal. Uh, I will do this. I, I offered it for 50 on the first round. I'll offer it for 45 on this round. If you don't know Tahani Far, check her out. She, uh, she's mind-bogglingly good. And then again, this is a double book. This has one cover with two copies of the same book. The second copy is stapled directly into the centerfold of the first copy and through the cover. You need to come so up with some exciting way to explain that. It's like two of the same books made love and then couldn't break apart. And then found themselves wrapped within this nice cover. Man. I'm surprised nobody's interested in this. That's crazy. Yeah, me too. It's an it's an oddity for sure. Like it's not like something that you would see in, on a regular basis. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, mm -hmm. you'll be the only you'll be the only kid on your block, right? For sure. So again, here's the centerfold of the second copy, which is the actual centerfold of the two books at this point, and then. Here is the centerfold of the first copy, which has the second copy, splash page, and the entire book stapled directly into it. So essentially you have two copies of the same book that are married and then stapled into a single cover. And it's a nice looking copy, which is what gets me, because this, I mean, this is a thick book because it's two copies. And yet, it's pretty clean. Yeah, it's surprising there's not like a lot of stress at the staples because exactly. it's Exactly. That's, yeah. Those staples weren't really like designed for being through that thick of a book. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It had longer ones if it was a double sized book. MT, you should know by now that I don't sell books and lose money. <laughs> I wouldn't offer it for uh, for a price that costs me money. So, if you want it, buy it. If not, I'll put it up again later. Yep. I I will. You know what? This this will be my my words of wisdom to the chat. If you're ever doing comic books for investment purposes and trying to make money, it's not what you it's not what you sell it for. It's what you buy it for. That's yeah. where all your money comes from. You want to buy it for as little as humanly possible. And then that gives you all the room in the world to try and resell it. So in business, they call that your margin. Yep. Look, well, Edwin. Edwin doesn't care, MT. Edwin's like, okay, well, if MT's going to be a pansy, I'll take it. <laughs> By the way, when I bought these books, I bought these books for you two. That's the whole reason I bought them, thinking you guys would think these were cool. So I'm glad you guys are bidding on them. Yes, Roman is next. And uh, the fact that Pearson also was into it, I enjoy. Right, this I is really wish that I wasn't saving up for this convention that I'm going to because ASM books that are weird are right up my alley. Go. Dropping that end line. It looks like Edwin Price is going to take this one for 70 bucks. All right. Hi, Jackal. Congratulations. Whoa. MT, why why are we doing this all night, MT? You you are just not not my friend tonight. Uh, MT, make sure you're on live chat and go ahead and refresh. <laughs> <laughs> rookie. No fair warning. I mean, I just said I was dropping the end line. Like, come on. Or Don't you could have just bid. Time. Or you could have just bid. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell, man? Sniper, no sniping. Right? All right, we're going to move it on over to Edwin. Thanks, Noah. Thanks, MP. Thanks, Edwin. He's just trolling me, you guys. That's what it is. <laughs> I 
Why not have fun? There it is. Uh, Roman, are you awake, good sir? Roman, are you awake? This is one of those mystery boxes where you, you don't get to even see what you're bidding. Oh, so do I need to like give a 30 second? Oh, I'm going to drop the end line and then wait 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I have to agree, James. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got one. We got a, a dollar on a blind bid for Roman Curtis. Um, All right, guys. I guess we're going to do this really quick. Hopefully Roman Curtis wakes up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the spiel really quick. Uh, Strictly Comics group, make sure you guys come check us out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. If you guys haven't, please make sure you guys are smashing that like button. I said at 75 likes, I'd be doing a giveaway. So let's get it up to 75 likes. So according to my thing, I'm at 64. So let's get it up there. All now right, you're please. at 65. All, all right, sweet. All right, we've got Roman Curtis coming back guys, but please us a follow over on facebook if we can get to 100 followers over on the facebook group mt said he will be giving away a slab so please make sure you guys go give us a follow over there and on instagram thank you guys and we're gonna turn it back over to roman what you got for us sorry about that i don't know i'm trying to i was trying to put together in the box but it was taking too long it was taking too long, so uh, and I noticed I was supposed to be on the screen. Let's see, I got a. Uh, I got here. That's some loose, loose daredevils. How about that? How about that? How about that? Uh, I'm gonna show you that in the. All right. Got three book lot. Got some daredevils over here. All right, what do we got here? We got a. Hmm. He's getting one ready Four for you, Jackie. Lot. Twelve book lot. All right. Something four, four, Pete four, four. Four. Oh, sorry. I got a four book lot here. I'm going to start it off at uh forty bucks. Ooh. Four book lot. I'm gonna start it off at forty bucks. I'm just right, making it tonight, y'all. You know, I want. I try to put it in the box together, but the one I might put together it might have to be saved till uh next whale one. auction. Um. Oh, there you uh, go. Whale auction is kind of well. You know, I can do it tonight, but it's a whale auction type in the box. But I ain't never did one of those before. Um, issue. Start off with issue. Come on. Start off at issue 26. Still, Ooh. man. Strikes again. Got a VG Plus here. <clears throat> issue 47. Issue 64. Man, I'm having all kind of problems tonight. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Monster and... Pete, no one's going to... Hmm? Oh, I, I was Monster Pete saying he doesn't know how to bid, and I said, "Hold on, just a second, and I'll explain it." I was going to let you finish your book. I'll go ahead, go ahead and explain to him now. <clears throat> so, Monster, Monster Pete. So, right now the starting bid is forty dollars, right, for these four books of Daredevil that he's showing. So, if you're interested in the books that he's showing, all you'd have to do is type forty dollars, and then if the next person comes in and bids you up to like forty-one or whatever, 
then you would have to overbid them in order to be able to win the lot. We have a timer at five minutes. And once that timer starts, you have until the end of that timer to claim those books or to, to buy those books at $40. Um, and again, if people outbid you, then you have to come in higher. But it depends on what kind of books you're looking for and all that stuff. Doc Cop is asking what the condition is on these books, Mr. Curtis. VG, VG Plus. The first one is a VG, and the last one is uh, I'm about to sell is VG Plus. This is issue 90, 89, I mean, 89. National Diamond, insert. Not Mark Jewelers, National Diamond, insert. And there's your MC's favorite lingerie. <laughs> ad. There's MC's favorite lingerie ad, yeah. It does have a bit of a spine roll on it, but that's it. It has a spine roll on it. Somebody can knock that out for you. No rust on the staples. National Diamond. Insert. And that was the fourth book that I was just getting ready to show. For those who like National Diamond inserts. That's why I went so high with the bid. So there's issue. They have, the person I got to get from, got this is a fine. I don't like to do that with the spine ropes. So we got issue 90. I mean, 89. I keep saying 90. I keep saying 90. We got issue 64. Stuntmaster. We got issue 47. 12 center. Uh, yes. And we have issue... 26 12 center the stilt man strikes again issue 89 is a national diamonds insert that's a national and diamonds insert in it and it is in yes yes it, and is. it is in all, all four books in at 40 yep. whoever be it's 40 so I just uh, lean like, oh I know I, I know I'm always leaning like that I got the laptop lean I want to I got something under the laptop. That's what it is. <laughs> so 26. There's your dog ear, double dog ear, as I call it. So I got it down in the VG. We got some chipping right here. Yeah, MT, the best course of action is to wait until three seconds after the end line and then place your bid. <laughs> <laughs> we got issue 47 here. <laughs> Solid game plan, right? That's not on the book there. That was a sticker on the outside. <sighs> Issue sixty-four. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is a waste of time saying it, but first appearance of the stunt man. Yeah, it depends on depends on what your ultimate goal is, MT. <laughs> Barb, your email has been sent. Oh, okay. I'll show right, them, uh, I'll show them at the beginning of my next round. I pull them all out for them. And... Perfect. All right, you guys, we've got I'll about run. a minute left on the auction here. We've got two multiple bidders. We got yeah. Dixie in the lead at $41. At least MT didn't wait until after the end line here. $44. <laughs> 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 issue, and issue 89, which is a national diamond, in, which has a national diamond in there. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> MT is going to get grief for that now, guys. So. We're at 40. Sure, Monster Pete. You can make any request that you'd like to. Um, if oh, yeah, it. they, they, 
Them they guys might take request up. monster feet. Yeah. And, and we know about his. We know about his video. We, we can't fix it. So, all right, we're gonna go into overtime. He's trying to fix it, anyways. So here we go. Overtime. Ooh, Captain Forty Eight. There we go. Right at um, the end line. Well, I don't want to sell this book, but I'm gonna put my one. I don't want to sell price on this book at seventy. My other last Daredevil National Diamond insert from my comic shop. Issue 90. What an appearance. That, that comes in at 70. I'll show the books that's in right now. All right, guys, we're I'll 20 seconds in right to now. overtime. Is Cap going to steal these books? We got issue 26. Sorry about the blurriness. I don't know what to do. i get a new computer. <laughs> Still bad. It strikes again. Oh, snap. Issue 47. It looks like Captain Ramius is going to be stealing these. I'm dropping the end line, guys. Here we go. Giving you guys warning. And... Issue 64. Dropping. Yeah, it's the second book at 70. <laughs> uh, I hope it's a great shower faucet. I hope it's the best shower faucet of all time. <laughs> What's going on? What we got here? We got, we got some... What's up, comic Yeah, here? it's too late now. I, said, I, I didn't want to sell it. I put my didn't want to sell it price on there. I might put it up in another round empty later on at night. So this all goes to for 40, 48. 48, yep, Captain. Right. Plus, yep. plus $10 to ship, so the total would be for Captain Rainius is, is, is $58 because $10 to ship. Captain Rainius, you see my Instagram down there at the bottom. Please hit me there with your shipping information. And, uh, yeah, we're all good. Captain Rainius, $48 yes, to ship. Yes, Roman selling Daredevil, believe it or not. And some of them were national. I got, yeah, yeah. Books. Not my, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> the only, these are the only two uh, National Diamond inserts I got. That's crazy. So I'll put that, uh, I'll put something up together. It'll be National Diamond insert. It'll be this and uh, some Mark Julius together and some kind of lot later on. All right, let me see if I can put this in the box. That's what we do on Here Tuesdays, MT. Right. That's what we do. All right, thank you, Roman. We just wing it. We just wing it and make it work. We wing it and That's make it work. Right. That's all That's I'm right. doing. You guys stay tuned. He might be work. doing it in the box. So. Yeah, it might be he doing might. in the box. X Men, yep. X Men related in the box. Ooh. All righty. All right. Thanks, Roman. Appreciate you. We're gonna move it on over to Edwin. What you got for us, your bum? Move it on. Well, I tell you what. I've got a really pretty Avengers that I'm gonna start at a buck. Um, and it's a key silver age, but it really kills me because of something totally unnecessary. Look how pretty and white this is. This is, the oil? Oil? Mm, uh, this is the second, uh, well, let's say uh, vision was 57. This is the one right after it, but, um, I have no idea why you can see the the spine, the staples are nice and everything. It's an apparent 7-0 for some reason many years ago, because I want you to look how yellow this is. Somebody put tape reinforcements on the inside where they were not at all necessary. So I have a question Not on that. Not at all. And that to be, me, that, that can't be cleaned off. I, you know, I you said might be able to get it off. And you know, he worked real hard and fixed a couple for me. But then, you know, when it boiled down to it, there was one that he couldn't 
really do anything with so i wouldn't plan on fixing it um i'd just say you know they'll you can tell by the color of the tape i mean that stuff's been on there 50 years or more so yeah yeah um and i don't know why that people do stuff like that i mean you know it might, might have been a good idea back in the day but like i said the staples are fully attached but see you can see where it, it leaves little stains mm -hmm. where that tape is because that tape was pretty aggressive back then but like i said i just put it up for a buck so i mean what the hell yeah it's a it's a 12 cent silver age book that i paid way too much for because i well that that tape was actually attached to the paper of the book and not just the cover and that that would be a really tough pull yeah uh, uh i mean yeah front an, and back it doesn't make yeah. any sense it doesn't make any sense why that would have been done uh like i said that that one went by me i thought and i'm like i said i'm not afraid to pull books out and stuff but i mean golly how flat how it's a beautiful looking book Besides yeah that, and i mean the I mean, stories the story's great too i mean like i said look them white pages yeah they are yeah they are it just you know it just makes you want to whine when you see stuff like this and um yeah see look oh it's in the middle too huh yeah they've everywhere that there was a possible uh you know where the staple could come loose or whatever wow somebody put some old timey scotch tape on it not even the uh oh i just noticed something there's the ad for the very rare thor pillow that i've got yeah that's pretty cool I remember getting, you got that, that's a, it's 1967 blow up plastic, clear plastic Thor pillow that were meant to take in a car with you on a trip so you could, you know, have something to rest on. But I've still got one of those unused. Oh, wow. But, that's uh, cool. Yeah. I don't believe you can find one anywhere. But anyway, what I did on this one, I called it an apparent 7.0 with, you know, double stars by depicting I don't know. You know, it, it, I don't think a library would have done that because what a library used to do is usually punch three holes in them. Yeah, I was going to say, that's that's not a library. That's somebody that had some notion. Yeah. Of, oh, I'll make sure this book stays in nice condition. MT makes a great point, though, guys. That will not affect the grade-ness or the, uh, the label. It will still be a blue label because that is not any kind of, like, uh, restoration or anything. That was just some dude putting tape on a book so you know i never thought of that i just it just killed me when i saw it like that because when i got when i, I was picking up a bunch of books and stuff and i just uh, and uh you know i said man that looks that's white looking and uh i just grabbed it and uh and like i said i go through all the books you know and try to uh um uh, any of the um silver age books mm -hmm. or you know um bronze age any book of, of value i usually go over with the black light and look for stuff like glue and um uh, uh you know and uh restoration and stuff like that and you didn't have to own i mean it was just so blatantly obvious when i opened the cover but Dude, yeah, that adhesive on old scotch tape is so aggressive. Yeah, it, and like I said, you could, you know, when I opened it up, I said, oh, God, how, you know, because, you know, nowadays, if you put some of the purple type scotch tape on something, it's clear as it can be, you know. This is the old kind we used to use, like when I was in grade school, um, you know, it'd come on the, the old uh, tin rollers or whatever, and you'd pull off just a little bit, and it's thin tape too it's not as thick as it comes today you know so but anyway but i'd like to ask you all while we're here please uh leave us some uh, likes if you don't mind and um i'm gonna be calling in an early night um under pressure pressing is coming in to replace me next round 
and uh, I appreciate it. It's been a uh, good night. It's been a fun night. I picked up some nice books and um, just wanted to say thanks and we appreciate all the uh, views and likes that you will give us. The likes are important to our um, um, YouTube algorithm. You guys, this is insane. I can't believe this book is going for so little. I mean, we're at $25 right now and I mean, you can look at these on eBay and uh, I mean, a 7.0 sold for oh, almost $80. So, and, you know, this is the origin of Ultron and Vision, guys. So, um, <clears throat> key book. So. At, at 25 bucks, I'm tempted to bid just so I can see if I can get the tape off. Right. Just as a, as a practice. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm good with whatever anybody does because like i said this was this was my mistake by just a lot of times like i said i buy a lot of books at a time and um sometimes you get lucky sometimes not so lucky but uh this was the only one out of the batch that had any issues Right. It's so funny. I, I remember when I was a kid, my brothers and I, I would, I was the oldest. I'd get the book, you know, dad would give me a quarter. I'd buy a couple of comics and read it on the way home in the car, you know, and then get home and, um, start doing homework or whatever. No, the younger brother would grab it and start reading it. And then by the time we got around to the third one, you know, there weren't hardly any staples left in it. So, uh, Somebody actually cared enough about this book to carefully and precisely place tape in it, you know. All right, guys. Teresa started the overtime clock, so we're down to about 50 seconds on this book. Right now, Junior is in the lead at 29. Um, if you're if you're new here, what, what happens is this 60-second clock, if it runs out and no one else bids, that will be the end of the auction. And Junior will get it for $29. If anybody else wants to come back in at this point, anyone is welcome. So, if anybody wants to bid 30 to keep the auction alive, now would be uh, a good time. Barbarian had a uh, Podandrum, Podandrum book earlier. Easy on, for you to say. Po, Podandrum, po, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Podam. Whatever. Trollfire's in at 30. Uh, I've got Monster Pete. Oh, Monster Pete's in at 30. Yeah. Resets that clock that somebody put up. I don't know who. It wasn't me. Yeah. It wasn't. I swear to God. It just resets itself if you leave it too long. I had I, another one that I had that was in a lot with. I had a Fantastic Four Annual Three, and it had a little. The uh, spine had. Uh, you know how the, the big books have the a spine that's glued to them it had come loose at the bottom so I took the uh, heat gun and just you know got relatively close to it and put it back and it worked fine and I was sitting there patting myself on the back and then I'm going through it and looking and the uh, uh, last page of the story is ripped out <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I repaired that one for nothing all right, we got thirty-one dollars for troll fire. Is anybody going to challenge him? I've got a box for troll fire at fire too. So Fifteen seconds. Be dropping that end line, guys. Fair warning. Troll fire is good with the troll All right. fire. Here comes the end line. Fair warning. Fair warning. Here it comes, guys. There she goes. Right that was here. no premature end line, Teresa. You did good. Hey, I, and I, Troll Fire, I think you'll be happy uh, with that. Like I said, I, I can assure you that I paid considerably more for that. But that is, uh, you know, that's the, that's the way the game works. So... Um, Sometimes cookies crumble. That's true. And uh, like I said, I've had a, uh, uh, a good night. I'll be departing now. And um, 
under pressuring says give him a minute and he'll be coming in teresa okay that's fine perfect thank you teresa oh, thank you the There's rest no, of the panel there was no premature end line i'm telling you guys no like, there was I, no 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 you're good no premature end well there sometimes there's a big lag between youtube and Streamyard, so seems like tonight might be one of those nights Maybe. i think teresa handled things pretty well so. all right did you want to say your goodbyes that that's it yeah thank okay. you all and like thank i said you. i'll um, uh I'm, I'm gonna be back lord willing for the vintage uh, show and uh, uh we'll see how things go so uh i appreciate it and uh, y'all have a great rest of the night it's on not even 11 o'clock yet so you probably got two or three more hours to go got a good audience so uh Thank good you. night to everyone I think I hope everything's going well with you. So you did you, you did good. Good night, everybody. <laughs> All right, Edwin. See you later, buddy. Good night. All right, guys. If you guys haven't seen it, let's go. Hashtag Tuesday. I don't know what I'm gonna put up, but I'll figure something out. Um mm -mm -mm. let's see. What can we do? Hashtag Tuesday. Mm -mm. What are we going to put up for Gibby? You know what? Let's do this. I do have... Suspense. What's that? So I know. Cool. I've got so much stuff that I could give away that it's just like, hmm. So... All right, guys, I'm going to run a 30 second timer on this really quick. And then because well, I was digging and thinking. Guys, get your hashtags in 30 seconds. Hashtag Tuesday for uh, whatever suspenseful magnificence Teresa can come up with. I mean. Guys, it's always awesome. She always has cool stuff. Interesting stuff, that's for sure. So. All right, guys, we're going to run this in just a second. Good luck, guys. Tick -tock, right. tick tock. Here we go. Who's it going to be? Steven Spock. This bomb. Redraw. <laughs> just kidding. Steven Spock. Um. What are you interested in? I don't think you do DC, but I've got a couple McFarlane toys, page punters here. If you're interested in either one of these, I've got Nightwing and Green Lantern, or I know you don't do a lot of this, so I'll offer you this as well. So you're always a winner, Stephen Fox, always. So if you don't want one of these, you want Green Lantern or do you want Dark Phoenix? I'll offer you a Dark Ooh. Phoenix, Green Lantern, and Anything Lantern. other than Dark Phoenix, you're doing it wrong. So, your choice. You want to stick with the green, Steven Spock, or you want the Dark Phoenix? Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Right? Right? S sticking with the green? Sounds like it. All right, green it is. There you go. Congrats, dude. So that is going your way, you bum. So, really cool. All right, congrats. All right, guys, we got to do another share for the raves for seven pulls out of dot cop pull box, guys. So um, here are all the names. I got in here. Good luck, guys. Shuffle, shuffle. One, two, three, and here we go. He's a unicorn. I love it. Get down. 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 Get down.
All right, Steven Spock, here you go, seven pulls. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Harley Quinn with the uh, Dark Knight cover. It's kind of cool, number 25. We got a Daredevil, I'm not sure of the number here. So that's the framework. We got Children of the Atom, number two. We got Micronauts, number two. We got Batman Who Laughs, number one. We got DC Deceased, number one. Ooh. And we got, oh, we got the uh, Venom issue 200, the variant, the Gleason cover. It's like a $10 book by itself. Wow. Congratulations. Hi. All right, Steven Spock, you know how to get a hold of Doc Cop. He is on Instagram right there. You're a wiener. Exactly. You keep winning. All right. So um, if, can I just say something? Sure. So, so the winner, Steven Spock, if you, uh, you also have a choice, those books sent to you or a spot, on, a waffle spot on the 9.4 Moon Knight, 9.4 White Pages, your choice. Put it in the chat. Let me know what you want. Perfect. All right, Nola, do you have the third round giveaway? Looks like he does, guys. Look at that. Lots of Moon Knight books that I know nothing about. That's what you get. Sweet. All right. He wants a spot on your wheel. Okay, great. Thank there, you. There you go. All right, guys, that's the third round. Um, uh, Nola, I have a work phone call. Can you take over for Barb, please? After you've been mean to me all night? Please. <laughs> all right. Here we go, guys. Barb, you ready, buddy? Let's go to the Barbarian. Who, who oh. muted me? How dare you silence me? Okay. So, uh, TSCS, you had asked about metal books. This, uh, this is all Dark Knight metal, and then like the death metal books are in here too. Um, if anybody else is into them, like we could run this as a lot and sell it if we wanted to. But if it's just him, you know, it's it's no sense. We can just talk about it later. But what I have is Dark Knight. Uh, I got the death. Dark Knight's metal one. I got the foil for two. I got number four. That's not the foil. I got the foil for five, and then six isn't a foil. And then I have Murder Machine. That's a foil. I got the, the what's that say? Dawnbreaker Batman. That's a foil. I, I think I have all of them. Drowned the foil. I got the Devastator foil. I got Batman Lost the foil. I got Puckman Found the foil. Uh, Dark Knight's Rising Wild Hunt. I got Forge, and all these are in great shape. And then Death Metal 1, the foil. Death Metal 2, the foil. 3, foil. 4, the foil. I know I'm showing them really fast, because I just... Number 5, number 6. It appears to be um, about 50 books. So. Seven, yeah, it's, it's a huge stat. Like, it would totally fill a medium box. And then I think that's all the foils. Then this is a uh, death metal uh, secret origin number one, uh, multiverse who laughs number one. I know these are newer ones, you know, the death metal stuff. Infinite hour. What, what does that say? X X extreme <laughs> number one. Uh, there's the guidebook number one. Speed metal number one. Trinity Crisis, number one, is a uh, Trinity Crisis. I think this is a variant. Yeah, this is a variant to Trinity Crisis, right. number one. Hold up, hold up one sec, Barb. Hold up one sec, Barb. Uh, 
TSCS, if you want to contact Doc Cop about that book from the full box that didn't get shipped out, this is his email address right here. The Joseph.Croce1021 at gmail.com. So feel free to send him an email while Barbarian is showing you the rest of the books that he has. Yeah, no, these are all for sale, dude. This I don't want this stuff. I don't collect DC. Um, I don't know anything about any of it. I love that so cover. What's up, Enter? You're into it and you you sent me an email already. I'll uh, message you back. I can message you exactly how many are here. And I mean, for the most part, I hadn't, like I said, I hadn't processed that part of the collection that, that came in. So I don't know if any of these are like super valuable. Um, I'll just have to look through them real quick and make sure none of them are like, you know, $100 books or something like that. And all right, then so here we go. Like, yeah. I would just sell them all for cover price. TSDS, hit up Barball. You guys are already emailing each other about these yeah. books. If you're interested in that deceased book, hit up the banner that's flowing right here for dot .cop. Um, I'm going to switch that over to Barbarian Banner. I don't have my email on there, but it's in the chat. Well, he's already got yours, so. Yeah, yeah. He said he already emailed me, so we're good. All right. So what are we doing here, Barb? Talk to me. Okay, I got a, I got a waffle. $5 buy-in. 10 spots total. There's six spots left. First appearance of... It's first full appearance of Demon Bear. There's a cameo. This should say it, but it doesn't. It just says first appearance of the second warlock. I don't know why. Everybody knows this is the Demon Bear book, but it's a newsstand 8.0 with white pages. Um, it, it, it could use a press and get a higher grade if you're into that CPR thing. Um, but it's five dollars a spot that's shipped in the U.S. So if anybody's interested in that, just drop it in there. Get you five dollars. We could run it tonight if it fills. Um, Let's do the Venom book. This is a huge lot of Venom. It's a big chunk. So it's one, one through 31. I believe this is the new run. It's uh, Ewing. Yeah, he did the new run, right? So that would be 31 books. We'll start it at 20 bucks. How's that sound? We'll start under a dollar a book. Starting just to get the 20 bucks. Run. And you can go ahead and start it. Yep. I don't think there's any variants in this. There's number one, number two, number three, four, number five, six. So this is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Dylan Brock is the Venom in this. I haven't read it. I think that's I just, right. I remember him taking over Venom at some point. Uh, here's number nine with Kang on it. Number 10. That's a very phallic tongue cover. Yep, Entropy says yes. 11. 12 dueling venoms. Look at that tongue bash. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, wait. French was venom. 12? This was 12. This is 13. I was like, did I miss one? And these are all also near mint. Red ones put away in mylars. So they're all in mylars. This is 14. All right, guys, he's only halfway through the lot. There's 31 books in this lot. It's 15. the latest venom run from 1 to 31. Starting bid is 20 bucks. 16. 17 this is if you if you came in late to this and we're like i'll find it later this is your perfect opportunity number 18. i mean i haven't read it but i know ewing is, is usually someone i enjoy a lot so it's probably a good read 20 21. if there's not a bid by the time i get through this i might just end it <laughs> Because if nobody you wants do, my friend. it, you know, if nobody wants it, nobody wants it. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. 23. Oh, 24 is a cool cover. You got a 24 is Doom with uh, the symbiote goo all over his face. Oh, wow. That is a cool cover. <laughs> you got symbiote goo all over his face. 25. There's him fighting Doom. 
Here's uh, 26. I think that's where Black Widow takes the symbiote. Hey, TSCS, thanks for coming in, man. We love seeing new people, and uh, hopefully you guys can work out some deals. Yeah, yeah, I'll email you. Uh, once we're done here, I'll email you. That's 27. This is 28. 29. 30. Can you do spine slides for these, please? Yeah, I'll do one spine slide for the whole thing. Hang on. I'm just I'll joking. do a 31 book spine slide. Oh, that would be amazing. Here we go. I just got <laughs> I can't wait to see this. All right, make it better than Paul. Come on. Ooh, oh, look at that. That, that is so clean. Yeah, uh, we're going to do it most, at an angle so we can fit it all in there. This is the most delicious spine slide of all time, people. It's the best slide of a board you'll ever see. I need That's to get a little bit more angle. Hang on, I need more angle. Sure. I got to I got to get a little bit more angle in there. There. Oh, look at this. Oh my look at gosh, this. guys. I can't oh, see my hashtag. Am I doing it, guys? Am I doing it? Oh my god. That should be at least a twenty dollar bid worth of spine slides right there. Right there. There you go, Barb. You can't see, but I'm slow clapping. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, that's cool. If nobody's into it, I'm good. It's fine. You can stop it. It's it's one of them. You got a bid. Tony's gonna come in. Okay. I'll let Tony come in on it. I'll just show number one. <laughs> I can do that. I'm not going to go through them all again. 31 books, one through 31, all near mint, all in Mylars. They're at $20 for Venom. I am Venom. Can I see the <laughs> back? Sure. Yeah, there you go. There's they the back of number like one. There's the back of number two. No, no, no. He wanted to see the back on a spine slide. The back of number three. Well, this is as good as you're going to get. Oh, by the <laughs> way, here's the, I'm working on my my biggest spender giveaway. I'm doing King uh, Cobra Commander. Oh, that's cool. That's actually it's really, really hard cool. to do uh, like reflection type stuff in a mask. So it's it's coming around. It's not done yet. Whoever is my that's highest cool. bidder is going to get that. Though. That's my favorite one that you've done so far, Barb. I'm working on it. I hope I don't screw it up. <laughs> Tony, but they shouldn't. They should all have their own special mark on the back, right? I forgot. I showed the wrong side of that one. There's the back. <laughs> that. that was number five. In case you weren't all keeping right. track, number six. All right, guys. All right, that is uh, that is our time. I will be doing a inline. Thanks, we'll be Tony. Coming down. Oh. Teresa already did it because she's a fan of those super fast inlines that MT hates. So you know. there you go. There's two inlines. There's one from me. There's one from Teresa. You can you can use whichever one you like. Appreciate right. it, Tony. That's gonna. You, I, wait, I, wait, I wait. mailed your box. Like I packed your stuff today, so this is gonna go in your new box. And uh, yeah, we'll have to do the shipping because that that's almost gonna fill a box right there. And he has a that's question cool. for you. All right, what's is that? The coupon still inside number nine. Is that the coupon? Are you freaking serious, dude? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, if it's in there, I'm taking it out. <laughs> I'm going to take it out right here live just because you asked. You could have just waited till you got home. There's this in the middle of it. Oh, it's got a Judgment Day insert. Oh, what? damn. Yeah. The, oh, there's the coupon. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's right there. I think there was I think there was one in number twenty two also. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm fucking looking, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Taking these all out of mylars too. You're getting regular bagger baggers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you just lost, you just lost your twenty dollars. You lost Spider Man collection. Take that <laughs> for sh- making me look through a stupid comic book. <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> That was good stuff. All right, we want to make sure all the coupons are there. Open them all. Open them all. I already did. did you, you didn't see? Hit the rewind. <laughs> all right, we're going to move on over to Doc Cop. Doc, what you got for us? Uh, tough act to follow, I'll tell you. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> still got the two dollar pull, bo pull box. Um, I still have the. I still have only five spots left now on the Moon Knight number one, nine point four white pages. Ten dollars a spot. There's a total of twelve spots, so you have a good chance of winning this. Five more spots. Ten dollars a spot. If you're interested, let me know. You had some bins. I got for 115, I got a 9.4 white pages, a marble feature, number one, volume two, Red Sonia. This is uh, Red Sonia's first um, uh, title, her name and title. 9.4, that's 115. If you like Alex Stromberg covers, this is an Alex Stromberg cover. This is a uh, uh, Invaders King Size Annual number one. It's 9.0 white pages, and I can let this go for eighty dollars. If anyone's interested, Nazis and all. For fifty dollars, I got an eight point five white page graded with a lost box. You can see number one. Moving over to some raws, I got a high grade, I'm going to call this a candidate. This is uh, Marvel Superheroes number one. It is signed by Mike Zek on the first page. I'm not going to finger bang it for you, but trust me, Mike Zek signed the first page. And this is a $50 buy it now. All right, Doyle's going to take a spot on your waffle. Thank you, Will. Doyle. Doyle. Oh, Doyle? Okay. Doyle, David. And I have a Venom number one, Steel at $35. This is also a candidate. $35. For those Silver Age freaks out there, I got a beautiful, beautiful, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this an 8.5, flirting with a 9.0. This is a Captain America 106. And this is a, $50 buy it now. I'm going to do a spine slide for you. If David Reese doesn't have a spot on your waffle already, he would like one. You got it. This is a beautiful copy. Again, this is $50. Wow. Very good Great condition. Trick, guys. Beautiful, beautiful condition. $50. And let me check for you, Mr. Reese. Bear with me. You do not have a spot, Mr. Reese. You do now. Okay, I'll put you down. He will take one now. All right. We're down to uh, three spots. Three spots. Hopefully we can get rid of this tonight. The auction is going to start at fifty dollars. Five oh. It's, it's an eight. It's an eight book Amazing Spider-Man lot. And uh, I'll start start you out. We got a uh, number two seventy three newsstand. We got a one sixty seven. Thirty center. We got a 174 with Punisher, 174, 35 center. We got a 169, 30 center. I love that cover. J Jonah Jameson, that is best. We got a 175 Punisher cover. We got a 170 Man Wolf, Doc Ock, Green Goblin. We got a 178. 35 star and we got a newsstand king size annual number 15. all those come in at 50 dollars all right guys get in on that great spider-man law eight here books, eight books total so i can i can get eight books into a gemini really nice um, so you're not overpaying on the shipping. Oops, sorry. Oh. 
All right, guys. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Look up these books. You guys can't get steals like this every day. This, this alone is a solid $20 book. New stand. <sighs> Six bucks and 25 cents a book. Yep. King size annual 15, guys. This is early Punisher appearance. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <clears throat> if this hits $2, we're going to pull this. Uh, I was hoping this would get, get people uh, blood flowing here. Reese and Doyle both say they have sent their payment for their waffle spot. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, let's yank it. Nobody's interested in Spider-Man. All right. Let's do a quick, uh, let's start this at $10. Fantastic Four 99. Fantastic Four 99. Oh. Uh, okay. You want to do both? You got somebody at 50? Okay. Yep, brew fronts in at 50. No, just to, we'll keep it Spider-Man since we got group on it. All right. Again, eight, eight Spider-Man books, fifty dollars. These are Bronze Age, and you got some. You got a key in there. The annual. 15 is a key. Average condition on this lot, Doc? Uh, I would put it at, I would put it at, uh, there's a couple of, couple at a fine plus and the rest I would put at VF to near mint. And the, uh, the, uh, the big book is really pretty. I'll show you. Do a spine slide on it. I would put this at near mint, the new stand. We got Edwin in at 51. There's a nice a lot of Spidey books. <laughs> Superstar. Oh. Front's in at 60. What's up, Christian? Hope you're doing good tonight. Good to see you. Edwin's back at 61. We're going into overtime. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Let's see what we got. Oh, he folds right at the end. All right. So we'll let it go ahead and let this 30-second timer run out. I'll go ahead and drop that end line. 
if anybody else is interested in this before the end line drops, bid now or forever keep your bids. All right, here comes the end line. Going to be dropping. The timer has expired. End line is coming. Here we go, here we go. And dropping. All right, looks like Edwin's going to take. Oh my god, Trollfire, are you serious? Dude, come on. Like, is it me? Am I, am I, am I going too fast, guys? Like, please let me know. Or are you you just trolling me, troll fire? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. Well. All right. Thank you, Doc Cop. Appreciate you. We're gonna move it on over. That was Edwin, okay. right? Yep. Thanks, Edwin. All right. We're gonna move it on over to this guy. Welcome. What's up, mom? What's going on, everybody? Not much. Sorry for being a little late, but I had to take care of some business. 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 Yeah. Always, man. Gotta stay. Gotta stay busy. Give me a one dollar start. Let's give something oh, to the people. Oh man. Here you guys go. This oh, guy. That is a still wrapped Walmart pack. One dollar, guys. Come on. That's look. I can't even spell starting right. I want to say, what is that? Fourth print. Yeah. So fourth print Walmart. And who knows what what else is inside? So, and there's the barcode. So that's a newsstand. <laughs> that's a good one. I tried. It's a newsstand. People, look at that. Not direct. Newsstand. Strange Academy number one. A lot the of last pictures. three newsstands ever printed. Oh yeah. Mr. Collector knows. He knows. He knows. Strange Academy fourth print. Yeah, this Jeff is nice. Bomb. Plus a couple other rando books. Yep. Nice little one dollar start. Thank you, Mr. Collector. He's in at a dollar. Come on now. Come on, guys. <laughs> Look this book up. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. Here, let's go. The blade. Oh variant, snap! And the number and the three and the number one, regular what? and the variant cover. All in. You guys, this guy's crazy. All this for a dollar right now. Let's go. I know, right? All right. Cyber Knight says, okay, I'll give you two. You're worth two, at least. <laughs> Let's go, people. Mr. Clucker said, okay. All right. I see you. I'll give you five. <laughs> oh. Cyber Knight's in it, six. These alone are about 15 a pop, 15 right? to 20 pop. Yeah, those blade books are, this is, this is easily a $40 lot. Right? All right, guys, make sure you guys are still smashing that like button, too. We are at 82 likes, according to my count. If we can get it to 100, I'll hey. do another giveaway, guys. Hey, Felix, do you know anybody that's starting up a con soon? <laughs> Boom. Oh, look. That's awesome. Oh, damn. Tell April the people about it. April 27th, Paso Robles, California. My first ever comic book expo. Free admission, downtown park. And it's a real it's comic book show, right? Perfect. It's not like fucking cosplayers and comic yeah, book people. In. It's going to be nice, man. I got about 13 yeah. vendors. Nice. So, so if you guys are in the California area, hit him up, guys. Go check him out. Yep. First and I'm going to have another one in August. Go show some love, show some support to Felix. Dude, yeah, as someone awesome. who just got back from WonderCon in LA, 
and 95% of what was available there had nothing to do with comic books. <laughs> Sometimes you just love the old school local conventions, hotel shows. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm going to I'm going to make it a the vendor show. Free admission? I mean, come on. If you were in the Central Coast of California, get your ass up to see the show. And okay. and I got a sponsor for the um, for a local brew house, so that's gonna be the after party. Oh, there you, you go. go. Damn, yeah, that's what I'm it. talking about. There you go. Comics and brew, baby. Comics and brew. All right, guys. Anybody gonna challenge Mister Collector? We got a minute left on the clock. We've got some Strange Academy fourth print here, which is a killer book in a Walmart pack. So you don't even know what's in behind that. And then you got some blade books, guys. Those are forty dollar books right there. Easy. We got Darren Johns in at love, and he said, "All right, I'll give you another dollar." Yeah. And you got the COAs in the back. They're numbered. All right, Mister Collector said thirteen. You're worth a couple more dollars. <laughs> Don't let Collector win, John says. Hmm. All right, Baron's in at 14. Cyber Knight says, all right, 15. Miss Becky, you bum. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Come on, people. Great deals right here. Ah. I wonder I wonder what's gonna happen with the 9-8. With the nine eights, uh, the value is gonna start dropping because of those nine nine pre sales, pre screening. Everybody's, everybody's getting nine nines now. You see, you know, you used to be a rare thing, and you're seeing people posting freaking nine nines that they just got back. Like, CGC um, is killing themselves. All right, I'm guys, telling you right now, people, stop, stop grading your books. Stop. Overtime. We are in overtime, guys. We're at 40 seconds left on this lot. If you want your book graded, mail it to me, and I'll grade it and mail it back to you. <laughs> it's a reader's I know book. how to grade books. <laughs> I can grade it for free. I don't know, man. And they're saying that guy from Wonder, um, that guy that was supposed to have that 99 of the GSX number one, he didn't even yeah. bring it to the show. No. Hmm. 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 Yeah, right? All right, guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Becky's in the lead for $22. Is anybody going to challenge? All right, we're going to go ahead and drop that in line. Here it comes. Here it comes. Fair warning. I'm warning everybody. <laughs> warning everybody. Here it comes. Drop in now. This is this got a pre screen for nine nine. All right, Becky's taking the lot for twenty two dollars. Very nice. nice. Thank All you, right. Mrs. Vader. Congrats, Becky. Good to see you, you bum. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling good. All right, we're gonna move it on over to this guy. What you got for us, you bum? Again with the bum stuff. Come I on, know, you I know. Bum. I mean, I actually kind of like bum stuff, but that's probably not the venue to talk about that. So. Get up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> right. may, I, may I have a starting line of $30, please? No. All right. So I'm going to show you an X-Men right. 61. That was his timer. We're going to move it on over to the next. No. <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. Wipe it, wipe it down. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me let me get my voice back. Hashtag bully bum. Right? Hashtag motivation. <laughs> okay. I think I can do this now. All right. All right. So this is X-Men 61, but this is not the original. This is the JCPenney reprint. This is a high-grade copy of the reprint. 
Um, that's about a 15 to 20 dollar book. Everybody knows this one. This is Spider-Man versus Wolverine. This is the death of Ned Leeds. Also a high grade book. And then uh, this is a $30 book by itself. This is a high grade newsstand of number 213 with the iconic Sabretooth Wolverine cover. Very nice. Isn't that the cameo of Mr. Sinister? Hey, uh, no. Uh, Rick Ty, I don't blame you, dude. I, I wasn't going to redo it. Um, did it survive the trip? That The only thing I was worried about is if it was going to like get worse during the trip. But if it didn't, then I wouldn't. So... So 30 bucks again, high grade newsstand copy of 213. Jeez. Absolutely one of the most iconic covers from this era. This is the JCPenney reprint of 61 high grade. And this is a high grade Spider-Man versus Wolverine. Death of Ned Leeds. You get to see Spider-Man slam Wolverine's head into a tombstone. Hey, just for you, Riptie. Just for you, buddy. I go to, I, I, I like spare no effort or expense, and I'm, I'm glad that it made it. So again, this is uh, this is easily a twenty to thirty dollar book. This is a twenty five to thirty dollar book. This is probably a twenty dollar book. <clears throat> I have to sell this. Because I keep trying to sell it as an original because I keep forgetting that it's the reprint. So I have to get this out of my life. I so know. From where I know. Bidding, because this must go. No, I thought he was really in me because I just set the timer. So sorry, bum. Sorry, Trollfire. Well, good to see you, Becky. I hope you're doing well. Can't wait to see you back. So. Uh, MT is having Tourette's on his keyboard, apparently. Yeah, something. Was. Hopefully he can finish that faucet soon, so. Again, I have this really pretty uh, House of Secrets 90 Neil Adams cover. Sorry, I don't have a lot of light where I'm at, and I am, I am still getting unpacked from WonderCon and everything over the weekend. I am at a friend's house. I don't have a lot with me. So... This is a very nice cover. I will do that one for 40 bucks. And nice. also for 40 bucks, I have this Niobe Tahani Far. It's upside down. Only in Eastern Washington. It's fine here. Go, go play with your umbrella. <laughs> it was 80 degrees and sunny here. <laughs> it was cold and rainy all weekend in LA. Ugh. Just when I thought I could get away. Oh. By the way, guys, if any of y'all, I know Trollfire was there. I know MT was there. If anybody else came to uh, the Whatnot Show on Thursday night, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Um, it was a great show. Had a great time. I know Teresa wasn't there, but I don't really expect, you know. Actually, I might have been incognito. Oh! <laughs> like I said, so Teresa wasn't there, so. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> don't listen to this guy. Guys, Teresa is the best. She is the, really. best. the best. I don't know about that. All right, guys, we've got about yes. two minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Rick Ty is winning this for $32. I hope you're doing good, Rick Ty. It's good to see you. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate you. All right. Well, there's a little more light. Not enough, though. All right. Yeah, that's purple. Oh. <laughs> So X-Men 213, high grade newsstand copy. X-Men 61. Uh, if you just leave it in your box like this, everyone will think you have an amazing copy of the original. It is the JCPenney reprint though. Still a $20 book though. <laughs> and then 
One of my favorite books from that era, Spider-Man vs. Wolvie, High Grade, Death of Ned Leeds, and you get to see Spider-Man literally pummel Wolverine into submission. Doesn't Spider-Man kill somebody in that too? It's like the first time he ever kills somebody? Or is that a Maybe. different one? I haven't read it in a long time, so I know yeah. Ned Leeds dies, but I don't remember how. Yeah, he hits an uh, older woman and, and kills her. Yeah, it's one of those Spider-Man Wolverine books. I can't remember if it's that one or the other one, but he like some lady wants to die, so she sneaks up on him, and he thinks that it's uh, Wolverine, so he turns around and punches her full force because Wolverine can take that, but it just like kills her <laughs> instantly. Oh, that's Spoiler sad. from a book from the '80s. So again, this is the reprint. This is the back cover. They weren't doing this in like 1967. Seven confirmed, Barb. It is that one. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Southern, I, what's up, buddy? What's up, Southern? Good to see ya. I got I got to meet Southern at uh, Strictly's um, first comic -Con, or Comic Con that he put on. So that was really cool. Hang out with all those guys down in Texas. Did he brag about his prowess on rollerblades? No, no, I, I didn't get that. He, said he was quite a rollerblader back in his heyday. But you know what? He was very smart. He brought a wagon and had all his books <laughs> in the wagon at the con. It was like, oh man, why didn't I think of that? So you don't have Probably. to carry around. Okay. It's funny you say that because I've been to a couple of cons with him and I was just going to say every time I, I, I came back from WonderCon and every time I go to a con I imagine having Southern's way in and how yeah. much easier life would be. <laughs> you wish that you'd have thought of it? See, he says he's still got the moves on the blade. I bet he does. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in overtime. 40 seconds left on the timer. Trollfire is in the lead at $33. Is anybody going to challenge him or is it going to go to Trollfire, guys? Three high grade books Spider Man with the Wolverine, X Men 213 in a newsstand, and the reprint, JCPenney reprint of X Men 61. The wagons are a really great idea for a con. It really is because you end up with so much crap. Yeah. You really do. Uh, and, it, right. and, and he tends to clear a good path, so all you have to do is follow him. And... <laughs> exactly. That's what I was exactly. just thinking. Like, it would right? <laughs> he's like he's like a fullback. That's right. All right, guys. Him on his rollerblades. He's oh, just yeah. pushing him through. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping the end line. Here it goes. Is Trollfire going to get this? Here comes the end line. Dropping now. There it is, guys. Congrats, Trollfire. You bum. All right, Troll. I will add yeah. it to your other stuff for just 30 bucks or 33 bucks. All right. What do we got for likes, guys? Before we jump over to the next guy, hopefully he is ready. We've got 87. All right. 15 more likes, guys, and we will do another giveaway. All right. Roman Curtis. What you got for us, good sir? Are you still here? All right. Woo. What's up, Romy Rome? What's happening? You got a box? What's in the box, Roman? What's the box? Yeah, the box. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I ain't doing the what's in the box. I say that for uh, another day. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, y'all want y'all want me to do the what? what, what I'm on. I mean, Dixie's ready. Want, he's ready. He's he's like, give me, give it to me. Let's go. I bet the troll fire would be in on that too. He'd be like, all right, all right. What's in the, the shipping? Box? It costs twenty twenty three dollars to ship it. And then we gotta now you I can't start it at twenty three dollars. Usually the shipping is already included. Start off with shipping them out. There's a boy's forty books in the box. If you want me to do what's in the box. 
40 bucks in the box, guys. Price, prices drop, prices change. Uh, crazy amount would be just to get rid of the books, it would be 123 start. All right, guys, you want to do it? Included. You want to do a 123 start? We can do it. Let's let's take a vote. Anybody want to do a 123 start? That's what the box. 40 books in the box. 40 books. 30 of them have not been. Box. 30 of them have never been opened. X Men related. 30 of them are based on one cover. 30 of them are a collection of one cover. Of a, of a cover, uh, whatever. 30 of them, uh, what I'm trying to say here, I'm half sleep. Emma Frost. Put it like mm -hmm. that. Does anybody like Emma Frost? I got, at least, and then I threw some other stuff in here that makes it even more worth it. Does anybody like Emma Frost in her variants? You know, anybody you should be winning if you don't like Emma Frost. Um, I've been known to spend some Frost private time with Miss Frost. Oh my god. I mean, Noah likes Frost. I mean, we know this, well, right? So Don't I mean, make like, this dirty. Do not make it dirty. Nerdy. I, I, I mean, you already went and there. I'm giving, so. And I'm giving away some other books. Really, it's, it's probably more than that, but it depends on what I'm bringing it down. Damn, I'm gonna, how am I going to do this? I'm trying to make some room here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. 123 here. in the box. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> it's worth more Tony than 123. Likes, worth more than 123. We know this. And then I threw some, some nice X-Men in here for you guys. Let me see where I got. So 40 Why books. X-Men, Emma Frost related. 123 bucks. Three bucks a book. That's a steal, yep. guys. Let's do it. Three dollars a book. No, it's more. It's you, you want to see. It's really a win. And I said it's a well auction book, well auction lot. I did say it's a well auction lot. So let's get out the. Let's get it's forty books. Let's get the books out the way without Emma Frost on the cover. Let's do that right. X of Swords. This is a first appearance of something, but X of Swords. I can't tell what issue it is. But we're gonna throw that in there. We're just going to throw that in there. X of sorts. Boom. That's in. That's in. We got a lenticular cover of 100. Boom. That's in. Boom. We got a JTC of Magneto. Boom. That's in. We got a first cover appearance of Mr. Sinister. Boom. That's in. Watch this. This is your $123 right here. Without the without the M Frosts. We have X Men 118 6 0. Boom. Got that at 6 0. Boom. That's <laughs> it. We got X Men 106 at a 5 up. Boom. That's it. I was going to let him show some more X books. We got X Men 100 at a 4 5. Boom. Damn. Boom, that's it. Now, I had to even it out to get it up to 40 books. Oh, that's the end already. How did you even see the Emma Frost? We, we already got people in. There, there, people are already bidding. So there, there's your books right there. There's your first 10 books. Now you go, all the Emma Frost books, except for one or two, have never been opened. These books have never been opened. If you like Emma Frost, here we go. Marauders issue 21 variant, Emma Frost. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's let's, right. let's do our $5 bets after 100, please, gentlemen. Yeah, my bad. Even now, Sorry, I shouldn't say 123. I should have did 125. Uh, all new X-Men variant, 1 in 25. Uh, Emma Frost. Well, I like that one. Which we got to throw you at Alex Ross. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, that one's timeless. Mm hmm. 
Uh, JTC. Jixie, I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to just do $5 at like the zero and five. It's just easier. I'm sorry. Instead of trying to math. I know it would be three and eight, but. Oh, uh, I forgot who did this one. Where is Marion? I forgot who did this one. Ooh. Did I mess up? Uh, Immortal X Men no, number one. Okay. Immortal X Men number one. And the Virgin variant to go with it. Immortal X Men number one. Now this is uh immor immortal. Not immortal, well, you know what well, hell you see the title. Alright, this one here. Let me second. See some of them I haven't even uh, taken the, <laughs> the special order tags out of. <laughs> I missed it. I haven't even taken the special order tags out of. You know, everybody loves these. He's never been pop. open. That's a cool cover. That's bad. That's sweet. Hey, we don't say in Roman we trust. A, uh, right. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I love this cover. Hellfire Gallop. I said Hellfire Gallop Ball dress. That's a cool one. So you got that one. Of course, you got the Virgin variant. That's number four of Immortal X Men. So number four, and we got a little kinky there. Let's see, we under the sheets. Number four. <laughs> What's up, Liz? Good to see ya. He's a freak in the sheet. More X Men <clears throat> five. My all-time favorite, uh, Inferno number one, Jeff DeKal's version of Emma Frost. My all-time favorite. Got it there with her sunglasses on, chilling. Inferno, I think this one was one for 25. With all the Emma Frost is on it. Oh, Inferno two, maybe Nakayama. I need that Doubterman cover. Another Inferno two. One fifty five to troll fire. None of these books have. None of these books have ever been open. So, uh, I guess I gotta throw you some peach from Moko. I don't want to start the timer because he still hasn't shown off all the books yet for overtime yet. <laughs> yeah, I got like twenty to go. I know. I so got twenty to go. Oh, uh, Marauders number one variant. After he shows all the books, we'll do a 30 second timer, guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, there's more books in here, so I don't want to. Iron Man 8. Take away from him. Show the X Men. Marauders number 4. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I showed the X Men again. I got them separated so you can. Were you an Emma Frost fan? Or are you an Emma Frost fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to my Emma Frost go. I got X-23, Emma Frost, Storm, and Electra. So Emma Frost is the one that's getting let go. Emma Frost and Magic. Sinister number one, Emma Frost.
uh, Uncanny X Men, Dark Rain, Emma Frost. Next up is Uncanny X Men number two, Emma Frost. Next up is X Men Black number one. So, what is it? Peach Momoko, Jeff the Cow. We did everybody just about. So, here's some Jessica Campbell. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I figured it'd be in there. <laughs> uh huh. X Men number 19, Emma Frost. I like that cover. It's very simple. Uh, X Men. X Men, hell, which one? 19, Gene Bartel. There's two of these in here. So, there's two of those in here. Here's the one a lot of guys that like X Men, number one, the Art Adams. I'm gonna do this one. X Men. Just a variant. Oh man, I got some EM Frost thing. I had this EM Frost. Um, X Men uh, X Men Unlimited. Emma Frost. Just two left. Just two left. Let's see what we got here. Here we got our X Men House of X number one in the black. This one really, really is nice. And X Men Extreme issue twenty three. It's extreme. So they want to see the first ten books or whatever it was. Yeah, they want to see them again. The X Men books. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and yeah, it's sword. start the overtime timer now. You start the clock now. Yes, uh, sir. X of Swords, this first appearance of somebody. I just do that in there. You fill up the box. Uh, Lenticular cover, X Men of X Men Go. Oh. Next up, uh, I don't know what issue it is, JTC, Magneto. Uh, uh, 239, First Sister, cover, Sinister cover, on cover. We got X-Men, it's a 6 -0, 118. We got X-Men, uh, 106, 5 -0. 106. In a newsy, the ones to fill a box and X Men got a four five of X Men 100. What do you want to do again? So show the these show the back covers of each of the books now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so right. that is the book. That's I mean, it, I wouldn't have asked you that. So. But maybe <laughs> we'll maybe we'll ask Barb if there's coupons in the Venoms. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we've got about 30 seconds left. And over so those, and then I'll shoot through. There's those and 30 untouched Emma Frost covers. That's the uh, lenticular. Alright, so they want to see the center uh, staples of each Emma like Frost book, please. First. <laughs> I'm always in a good mood when I'm freaky, huh? <laughs> There's your one that's a 6 0, 118. 
There is 106. That's uh, what is 106 or 50 and 100. They got it at four or five. It might be higher. You gotta get pressed up here at the top. It's a little, it's a little wavy up here at the top. That's why they had it so low. It's a little wavy up here at the top of the 100. That's why they had it at a four. -oh. Bam, Emma Frost. All right, guys. The timer has expired. I will be dropping the end line here shortly as I'm typing it out. So uh, the end line is coming in, trying to give you guys an opportunity. Here we come. Here we come. Uh, okay. He's doing a $6 bid. All right. One, well, that 175. That's that's a, yeah, you need, a one, you need to make that 175. We'll do here. 175. Yeah, we'll do one. That's a 175, guys. 175. He and uh, as I said, shipping's I, we haven't been saying it, but shipping's included in this lot. So you're really only paying uh, uh shipping is twenty three dollars. Well, let me say twenty five dollars. So shipping's already included in the lot. So you're just paying for whatever the bid ends up at. So shipping's already included in the lot. All right, guys, we're at one seventy five. 175 shipping included. Great lock, Roman. Great lock. Awesome. All right, guys. That is the timer. I will be dropping the end line. I've already got it typed out. So, give you guys a few seconds here. Looks like Jixie's going to take this one, hopefully. Here we go. Dropping that end line, guys. There she blows. There it is. Jixie's All right. Box is sitting right here. That's All we got to awesome. do, bubble wrap those and send it off to you. So one seventy five. Uh, straight Chip. one seventy five. Shipping's already included. And that price. How you say uh Mr. Flix? It, it, it's J I mean we just call it Jixies, but whatever. I mean Jixies. he's a good guy. He really is. So Mr. Uh, Oh yeah, I've seen him all the time. I, I call him Mr. Mr. Yeah. Flicks. Yep. Yeah, he's a good guy. So. First time I saw you, thank you, my thing. One seventy-five is your total. That includes shipping. Hit me up on um, IG. Good night, David Please. Reese. We appreciate you. We hope to have a good yours. evening. All right, guys. Before we jump into the giveaways and all that stuff, make sure you guys give us a follow and come back here on Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming out and checking us out and hanging out with us and bidding and, and just chatting it up. So we appreciate you. Um, so make sure you guys come back on Thursdays and Sundays. If you guys haven't, go give us a follow over on Facebook, Strictly Comics with an S, or with an X, excuse me, um, uh, at 100, uh, oh my gosh, at 100 follows, we you will, be, it. or MT will be giving away a slab. So make sure you guys, if you haven't, go give them a follow over on Facebook. We appreciate that. Uh, Vintage Comic Auction is April 6th. So you guys want to come out and check that out. That's this Saturday, this coming Saturday, you guys. So come hang out with us um, and check out all the, the insane books that they have. Because they have some killer books that you don't usually see on a regular basis. So uh, definitely go check them out. Um, and... Uh, uh, hang out with us in the chat. You guys can definitely learn a few things. Um, so they, they definitely put up some killer books there. So uh, Whale Auction is Saturday, April 20th. Um, that's uh, key books, grails, and white whales. Nothing under $100. So you guys make sure you go check them out as well. And uh, go go hang out over there. Uh, definitely can, can learn some things there too as well. All right, we got Madhouse Comics. Uh, Madhouse Comics and Collectibles on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
If you guys haven't, I'm over there on Fridays right now, um, filling in for Helvetica and all the crew I'm hosting over there on Friday. So if you guys are interested, come hang out with me on Friday over there. Appreciate ya. Uh, go check them out tomorrow too. Um, all right. Let me get Dixie added to the race. Actually, I think he's already added here. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and run it. Let's do this. Good luck, you guys. Oh, nope. Back. Uh, we want these ones set. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, I put FU and it came out stars. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I know, right? All right, here we go. Is it? Is it? Yes. Here we go. It's the hot hot cyber night. Our dream come true, so we put Tony F U as a like a Tony Poo. Not a not anything bad. Oh that uh -oh. <laughs> teleportation win. I know, yeah. All right. Oh, it fire. didn't do that on stream yet, or on the actual video. It actually showed the whole thing. It just froze for us. Oh, did it? Yeah. Uh, did you guys all see who won? No, I saw. Did. You could see. Okay. All right. What did I you win? King of Insignificance? Uh, there's a bunch of Moon Knight books that I put somewhere. You want a bunch of Moon Knight books. All right. There you go. Congrats, <laughs> Profar. Perfect. Um, right. hey, while you got it on me, I'm going to call it a night. Um, I got to get some sleep. I'm still like traveled out and stuff. So, um, appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, Teresa, you're always the best. And, uh, Roman, you stole a 94 from me, so I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> you know huh? Hey, you want this? I got something for you. You want it. <laughs> <laughs> we can trade. You can take mine. I'll take that one. Seven zero. <laughs> one eight. Right. One of them might have to go for a giant. I might. I might need to make some move for a giant size. Somebody needs a ninety four. You know. <laughs> uh, chat. Thank you guys. You guys are always the best. Appreciate everybody for coming. Um, sacrifice your thumbs if you you know feel that you can do that. And uh, he's probably got more than two troll fire fucking roll. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, I know I do. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much. We'll see y'all next time. Um, Appreciate you, Nola. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. So. We'll see y'all next time. All right, later. All right, we're going to jump over here. What do you got for the giveaway round? Or did I put too much pressure on you and come back to you later? No, 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 no. Let's see. I got something for you guys. This one's giveaway. It's going to be this one. Bruce Timms, Batman, Dark Knight. Ooh, there you go, guys. With Look the COA. What? All right. It's a buyer's give you guys. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Here we go. Starting the round. Let's go. Oh, Barb. Yeah, Bob. Do it. Uh, I'm going to buzz through these $5 buy it nows again. And then uh, I have a lot that probably can be a build. I'm, I'm, I probably won't get all the way through them. You tell me when to stop. I'm going to do an auction afterwards that's going to start right. with a lot and then I can add lots to it if it goes up. All right. So what is this $5, $5 buy point? it now. You just tell me when to stop doing my buy it now. Oh, 175. X Men, Marriage of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor, VF, $5. I got a Warlock, 13 This is the first appearance of Star Thief in a VG, $5. This is the Millennium reprint for Mad Number 1, VF Near Mint. 
Five dollars. Here is a near mint newsstand copy of New Teen Titans number 35, first cameo appearance of the Vigilante. Five dollars. Hmm. Here's your Poe Dameron number one, second print near mint. Five dollars. Uh, Ultimate Death of Spider Man number two variant. Uh, this was a uh, hitch. The hitch variant. Five dollars. Near mint minus. Uh, King in Black number one. One of the variants. I don't know which. I don't know who did this. Uh, Stegman did that. Uh, near mint or better. It's never been out of the, the bag and board. Five dollars. Great Logan story. 25th anniversary. Did anybody read that King of Black? Did you read it? No. Oh, dude, get it. Um, BF Near Mint, $5. Uh, Generation Hex, New Stand. Got this at a Near Mint for $5. These are hard to find in Near Mint and in a New Stand. Uh, Batman 94, Near Mint or better, $5. ASM number five. This is the Unknown Comics Philip Tan variant. Near Mint minus five dollars. Um, here's a Judgment of Gotham Batman Judge Dredd. Never read. Near Mint plus five dollars. That's cool. Transformers number what is it? Number twenty-five. BF Near Mint. None of these books have been pressed and cleaned or anything. So if I say something's very fine to near mint, it probably can get better. Something like this is is it's it's the way it was stacked in the box. It has a little bit of a wave right there, so you could press it and it would be near mint. Five dollars. Marvel Fanfare One BF Plus five dollars. Punisher Annual Number Two Newsstand VF five dollars. First time Punisher and Moon Knight battle. Uh, here's the Birds of Prey number seven, Art Germ. Got that in a near mint minus five dollars. Uh, Josie number forty-three, Dan DiCarlo. Oh, this is a fine, very fine, five dollars. Robin DC Universe variant, or whatever you want to call it. Twenty number twenty. BF near mint, five dollars. Superman four. The quest for peace, number one. This is a one shot. I don't know why this says number one. First appearance, Nuclear Man. That's that dude from the movie. BF five dollars. Tiger Man number one. Blair included. Uh, VG plus copy. Five dollars. Here's a reprint of Vault of Horror, number one. This is the earliest reprints that they did of these. I want to say it's like 1979, but I can't remember for sure. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, it's, it's uh, VF minus $5. <clears throat> Man Thing 1, the R.L. Stein run, near mint, $5. I might actually get all the way through these. This is the Sabretooth one shot. Near Mint or better, $5. X-Men Messiah Complex, number one, the variant by Silvestri. EF Plus, $5. Everything's $5. Captain America, 310. First appearance of Serpent Society. First appearance of Cottonmouth. Bushmaster 2, Diamondback, Ask and Rattler. Fine copy, $5. And the last buy it now that I had are these two Universe of Marvel. These are the Master Edition Official Handbooks number 13. I got two copies. Both are still sealed, never been opened for $5 each. Got through all of them. Look at that. Perfect. All right. I mean, look at okay, you. Okay, so we're going to start. Let's start with. Let's start with the Transformers. How's that sound? We'll do Transformers. If there's any interest in going any higher, then we'll you do got, that. You got, you got a couple of claims here. You got Batman 94 and Judgment on Gotham for your Batman part. Batman 94 and Judgment. Go okay. 
Oh, those are way back there. Okay. Uh, and while you're digging, since you guys have show, since you've shown those books a couple times, grab the birds of prey for me. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I've already showed everything once, so you can definitely claim away. Yep. Uh, where did the Batman book go? It's in here. I know it is. There it is. Middleton variant. So these two are going to TSCS. And Bum wants this one. Yes. Please. Gotcha. We're there. Okay. So Transformers. This is the new Transformers run. I got one through six. I got no variants. Okay, it's just a straight run. One through six. Six books will start at six bucks. What? These are all near mint, red once, put in a mylar. Just so number one. one. Number two. Number three. Here's number three, right? Number four. Number five. Oh, it's a reflection cover, Stephen Spock. Mm -hmm. Where is where is Stephen Spock? He's gotten quiet. Uh, I don't know. And then number seven. Number six, I mean. That's number six. One through six. He got six excited. Bucks, one dollar each. He got excited if, because uh, it was a double wiener. If uh, we get some bids on that, I have, I can add to the lot one through three of Duke. I have number one and number two, Cobra Commander. There's the regular cover for number one. This is a really nice, I really like this. That's a cool cover. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, the, the, I wrote it on the back here, Bird City variant of number one. And this is the face that I use to draw the buyers. Whoever spends the most is going to get this sketch card that I just did. <laughs> and, and number two um, those can come in as well and then if we get some real bids going I got Boyd Rivals I got one through seven here and there's uh, let's see one two three four different covers for number one and all this will come in we get a bunch of bids like a bunch like a whole bunch. There's number two, number three, number four, right? I'm all right now. Yeah. Number five, number six, all right? Number seven. Yeah, so if anybody wants in on that, then let the bidding madness begin. Right now we're just doing Transformers. We'll start with the Transformers. One through okay, six. I six. Let's see. If I was to bring in, I would let the person who bids up to it pick. But if it gets up to 20, I'll bring in either the Duke or the Cobra Commander. And then we would say like 25 would bring in the other. So 25 would bring in both of them. Oh, and I'd probably say something like 40 to bring everything in. There you guys go. Around there. Yeah, I don't know. I think one of these number ones on Boy Rivals is one of the, the ratios, but I haven't looked it up. It's the Sesame Street one. That's, I don't think that's a ratio, is it? That's a, isn't that a second printing? It's like the third print. The second, I think second or third print was a Jetfire cover. That's this one? Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this is the third print. I yep. was thinking that that was, that I, like I said, I hadn't looked them up, so I don't know. Yeah, I think it's, oh, it's, anyway. I think it's a Sesame Street cover. Am I not wrong? Am I wrong? The Sesame Street cover is a variant, yeah. but I 
think it's the variant to the second print. Yeah, it's the second print variant. They did so many variants on that. Yeah, the for real, like the number one, because they knew people were going to buy the shit out of it. So they did like all the way up to like a 500 variant or something. Yeah. You see the, you see the, the, San, the San Diego Comic Con one? Yeah, there's like, and there's an ash can that's really hard to find too. I have it. I don't have the ash can for that. So just one person's in on this. It's $6. Yep. Cyber Knight. Person, nobody's, nobody's. Wait, is that Saber Knight? Cyber Knight? That would make, that would make yeah, way more sense. Saber? Yeah, or <laughs> Cyber. I don't know. We got 20 seconds left. Anybody going to challenge Cyber Knight or Saber Knight? I'm having a hot flash. Holy cow. This is my Instagram right here. So if you're on Instagram, that's how you get in touch with me. If not, I have his email in the back burner here. Yeah. Hey, drop come, it hey, come here. check this one out. Okay, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me get the timer going first or the end line. All right. Email. Line. Do I have PayPal? I don't. Yeah, I have PayPal. Um, hit me up on Instagram if you're on Instagram, and I'll give you all my PayPal info. I'm not going to put it here because I've already had my PayPal hacked one time from putting it here. So I don't do that no more. <laughs> right. But I do have PayPal, yes. Here we go, sure. guys. Look at look at this. Yep, that's the one. Stick it in my box. No. <laughs> L, L no in Spanish. <laughs> All right, nice pickup, Cyber Knight. Oh, he's yeah, still and uh, just uh, Cyber Knight, this is the first time that I've dealt with you. So just so you know how I do things. It'll be 10 for shipping. I can do up to 11 books typically for $10. This was six books, seven books, six books. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to hold them and, and fill the thing or whatever. But so it'll be 16 total. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Barb. Appreciate you. And Bum's going to put, oh, Bum already put my email in there. So you can email me or if you don't have Instagram. Yep. Just let me know welcome. in the chat if you're going to email me because I very seldom check my email. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, Barb. Thank you. Thank you. What you got for us, Doc? Let's sell this out, you guys. Let's yes. sell this out. So, so we only got three spots left on the 9.4 white pages. Moon Knight, number one. All right. Hold three on. Spots, $10 a spot. And, if we uh, can get to 100 likes, which is four more likes away, guys, I'll give away two spots. And then some, but somebody has to buy that last spot. Who's going to buy the, the last, last one. spot? What's that, Felix? Oh, if, you, if you're going to give the other one away, I'll get one. I'll get the spot. All right. So Felix is going to take one, and I'll take the last two for, for people in the chat. All right. So after I'll do this, do you want me to put all the names in there for you? Yeah, please. Okay. All right. Good deal. All right. So we got some buy it now, some bins here. We got uh, for one thirty. We got the uh, second appearance of Moon Knight. This is a VF plus copy of Werewolf by Night number thirty three. Beautiful copy. One hundred thirty dollars. <throat> then we have a. First appearance, a Red Sonia. This is a 9.0 copy, and this is $150. First appearance, a Red Sonia, $150. <clears throat> I want to thank the person who reached out to me on Instagram and purchased this bad boy. Good deal. Oh, nice. We got a buy it now 8.5 white pages giant chillers first appearance of Lilith the daughter of Dracula and this is 175 bin and the next group of books I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there they're gonna be bin so um, okay. <clears throat> this is going to be giant size superheroes Spider-Man number one. This is an 8.0 copy, 
And this is a forty dollar buy it now. It's got the uh, it's got the store stamp on it, which I always love. Beautiful copy. I got Wealth by Night. This is a uh, 8.0 copy. This is $30 buy it now. It's really nice. 8.0 8 is probably under undergrading it. I'll even do a spine, spine slide for you. This is $30. Werewolf meets Dracula. I'll get the hashtag going after his round, you guys. Just so that we're not interrupting his round. We got uh, Tomb of Dracula number 58. This is the uh, first solo Blade story. And this I have graded at 9.0. And it's a uh, $30 buy it now. All the prices I'm giving you now, please reach out to eBay and see what they're going for. Not what they're selling for, but what they sold for. This, these are really good prices for these books in these conditions. $30. Two more Dracula, number 58. All right, so Trollfire is going to take your Dracula for 30 Which one? Oh, the, uh, uh, this one? He said Dracula, so I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. Thank you, and Troll then, then Brewfront's going to take your chill climber slab. Which one? I'm sorry. The slab, the chill, the chill. The oh, the chillers? Chill. Yeah, the chillers. Sorry. My bad. And this is Brewfront. You got it. Yep. Good deal. And then I have a Tomb of Dracula uh, number 50. This is the Silver Surfer appearance. Great cover. This is a 9.0, and this is a $30 buy it now. Again, undervalued book, and the price is actually really good for this book. It's really hard to find in high grade. This is a 9.0, $30. Uh, I also have another appearance of Blade, an 8.0. This is $25. This is issue number 54, Tomb of Dracula. I have a uh, 7.0 copy for $15. This is issue number 21. This is also a blade appearance. Um, Trollfire is going to take your Silver Surfer, Dracula. You got it. Again, this is uh, $15, a 7.0. And he's going to bid your $20 one. Which one? The $20 one, whatever. I think it was the one that you just showed last. This one was 25 The 54 Okay. He said, sorry, 15 the $15 one. My okay. bad. Gotcha. All righty. And the last one I have is Tomb of Dracula 17 this I have graded at, this is a 9.0 as well. And this is $30. This is, um, Blade gets bitten by Dracula in this appearance. In this issue, it's issue number 17. Really beautiful book. And how much was that? This is $30. Buy it now. $30. Okay. And again, this is a, a key issue in that Blade gets bitten by Dracula in this issue. He's offering you 20 for that one. Trollfire is, is Tro offering. Trollfire? Is asking if you would take 20 for that, that one that you have in your hand. I would do, this is a high grade. I would do 25 if you're interested. Okay. 
He said 25 done. I'll take it. Very good. All right. Uh, I'll throw this up just for just to have a little fun. Uh, I have a amazing Spider-Man number 247. Uh, this is a new stand and it's signed by John Romita. And this is a $40 buy it now. Wow. You know, he's, he's gone now, so that's a, that's a good pickup, guys. $40. If you went to a convention and asked him to sign it, you would be paying more than $40. Yep, absolutely. And that's it for me tonight. I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you very much. Again, feel free to hit me on Instagram if you have uh, saw some books that you might be interested in or next Tuesday if there's some books you want me to put up. Um, in the meantime, Teresa, I'll put the numbers in the chat and we could uh, see who wins that Moon Knight number one, okay? Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Doc. All right, we're going to move, move it on over to this bum. What you got for us, Felix? I got to be a bum. Uh, everybody's a bum. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, let me see. Let me get a uh, let me get a sixty dollars start. All right, guys, you heard it. Sixty dollars start. Let's do it. Invaders number one. Ooh. All right, guys. There it is. Willie. What's up, man? So what's so special about this book? Is there it's a bunch of theme up of the invaders? Okay. And it has um I think it does have the the boo 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 swastika on it. <laughs> it's also a nice like high grade book. $60 start. All right. All right, Felix. I'm sure everybody's seen that, so. Hopefully, anyways. Yeah, Storm. No, that's Storm. That's, uh... Is it the Human Torch? Captain America and Submariner team up. Nice high grade, sharp corners, nice spine, 25 center. Go on eBay, go look at the numbers. You ain't gonna touch this book for less than this. No love for the invaders. I know, huh? Hmm. You guys, this is the first first team appearance of the invaders right here. Invaders number one. Edward that he probably I know, right? over. he's sleeping probably already uh a vs vf plus you guys this, this that didn't i mean it's it's yeah this is a steal guys mm -hmm. all right a steal Easily a hundred dollar book right? all day long. The Natalie is my slide. Very good. Nice. 
spot, it's not. Boom. Yep, finally a spine slide. Exactly. A spine slide that's done right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, two minutes, 30 seconds, and then we're drawing some names. So make sure you guys get in there. So, oh, yeah. Moon Knight number one. I mean, you guys aren't going to find this for, for 60 bucks, I can tell you that. And you're meant. Mm -mm. Easily, oh, I'll say about easily a hundred, hundred and ten, hundred fifteen dollar book. Oh, yeah. Easy. Mm hmm. I mean, Maybe a 9 eight, a, a yeah, nine yeah. eight just sold, just sold for 650 on eBay. Just saying. And I know it's slabbed, but. Maybe I should have put some some TMT, huh? Right. You want to switch it? I can switch it. Up to you. Ah, I did my round. I'll, I'll do it for next round. I don't want to take no All more right. spot, no more time. All right. All right. I'll be I'll be I'll be courteous. All right. If you guys hear my dog barking in the background, she thinks it's time for bed. So I'm just... Man, Vader's <laughs> one's a good book. I know, right? I believe nobody's gotten in on this. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? There's Troll Fire. There you go. Man, everybody else is sleeping. I know, sleep. right? But look it up. Go go on eBay, guys. Go check it out. I don't know what it is about that book. It, it, it was really hard for me to find one in a high grade and then to find one I could afford in a high grade because it's not a cheap book. You know? <laughs> it nope. took me a while. And that's probably nicer by far than mine is because mine's probably a fine at best. Wow. Did you guys know one. that Scotty Young did a variant of this? Is there a what? Haters? Yeah, Invaders number one. Scotty Young did a variant of it. Oh, yeah, I think he did. I did not know that. <laughs> did it have a coupon in it? Yes. It was a Marvel value stamp with <laughs> Galactus on it. <laughs> double, double cover. 9.9. <laughs> Triple insert. <laughs> Profire is going to take this for a steal. I know, right? He is, too. I know. I know. I know, Trollfire. You're impatient. I'm sorry. We got one minute left. I got to give everybody an op opportunity. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I know. You want to just end it now. Yeah. This will be pressed and clean before it arrives to you. So. You guys heard All it. That. All that. Be nice, taken care of. Some Mariner and a Speedo. Yes, uh. exactly. An ass cake cover with six staples. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. oh. There you go, Fair John. Thank you. He knows. Ooh. I'm giving you guys this on a, on a discount. It's like 50% off. Okay, hey, so I don't know if y'all have ever done business with Cyber Knight before or not, but he did pay. So if you hadn't, welcome to the family. And uh, if you had, I'm a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment. No. I had it before. So welcome to the Kung Fu family. There you go. There's a lot more fun over here. Right, right. All right, guys. We're in overtime. Farron John's in the lead for $65. Uh, Trollfire's going to cry here. I'm sorry, Trollfire. I know, I know. But, like, 
I set the time like me like, too. So he has a stack and he has free shipping. If I mean, this is to be included. So I gotta make it fair, Trollfire. Emline should have not dropped. What are you talking about? Like, I mean, like the the timer is just yeah, exactly. It's not his first time here, Barb. You're just a schmuck. That's why I said. Okay, well, uh, I'm a schmuck for sure because <laughs> I have not seen him before. But hey, I'm also. I mean, I mean, he's awesome. <laughs> I'm awesome too. But we're really awesome together. How's that sound? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dropping the end line. Here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Fair warning. Dropping the end line, giving you time. Here it comes. And oh, there it is. Looks like Baron oh. Jones took this one. I mean, hey, I've been man. paying attention to my timers, troll fire. How, how are you getting mad? Are you just like trolling me or what here? Baron Jones took that one. All right. Go pick up, Go pick up my guy. I'll put it in your stack. All right. So, you guys. First, first order of business. Thank you, Felix. We appreciate you. Um, no problem. All right, let's do this really quick. All right, first order of business. If you guys haven't, I'm going to set a 30 second timer. We're going to run this twice for the 100 like giveaway, guys. So we appreciate you guys coming in. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us, smashing that like button, and just chilling. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the the next. The next two people that win this giveaway are going to get on the slab spots for Dot Cops Moon Knight number one. We'll get this going for you guys. And uh, yeah, good luck, good luck. Sure. All right. Timer's up. I'm multitasking here, so bear with me, guys. Sorry. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. This is the first person to get on the slab giveaway right here. PSCS. All right. There you go. Congrats, congrats. All right, guys. We're going to run this one more time. Here it goes. Good luck, good luck. Who's going to win? Liz, with the hashtag No Paul Tuesday, just saying. <laughs> All right, congrats, congrats. So we're gonna stop that, and then we are going to do this right here. And Doc, can you please confirm all these guys are on? Who's uh, SNS? Did you, uh, did you put Farrah Johns in oh, it? Oh, Steven Spock. I'm sorry. Doyle, David, Felix. Yep, that's them. Okay. This should be and did you put Farrah right? Johns? Uh, no, this is this is, uh, this is for the slab giveaway, Felix. Oh. This is not for. Got it. Okay, so. Well, the said guys, not on there. Yeah. Come on, let me win a slab. Doc didn't get you on there. Did you buy a spot, Trollfire? No. He said sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Shuffle yeah, three times. Yeah, three this times shuffle. Good luck, man. On, feel it. Good luck, guys. Come on, feel it. Turbo. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Felix coming in. Let's go. I see some traffic. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hell. We might have to rerun this, guys. Oh, here comes the oh. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was a photo finish. Doyle, this is what you won. Moon Knight nice. number one. Congrats. Good job. Wow. Holy cow. I'll Replay, please. Exactly. Tomorrow, that was so close. <laughs> All right. That's so happy. Doc, appreciate you. Did you want to say your farewells? or Are yeah, you done? I'm, or? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I appreciate everybody who came out to bid tonight. I hope you, uh, you're pleased with your books. And uh, as, as always, thank you. And we'll see you next. I'll see you next Tuesday. Ciao. All right. I'll put in your payment for the spot, Doc. Sounds Bye -bye. good. Thank you. All right, guys. Now we are going to the round giveaway, which is what Felix has got. So here we go. I got Farron on here. Uh, actually, are we even? We're not done with the round, right? Who's, we got uh, Roman who's still. Roman. Roman last. Roman hasn't gone. Yeah, is Roman awake? He was snoring. I'll go Roman. Oh. It is time for you to rise and shine. Come sell your comic books. Roman! Wakey, wakey. Okay, oh I'll tell gosh. you, this is what we're going to do. We're going to start $1, winner's choice, and uh, you just bid on whatever you want from Roman. And when he wakes up, he'll just give you whatever you ask for. There we go. Roman! I think he's out for the night, guys. Next. Oh, there oh. Look, look at that. Guy. Y'all should, should goddamn cheer for me at 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> I had some, I had the hot water going on the stove. I had to run over there to get the shit off the stove. <laughs> All right. Um, what you... Are you making us some ramen? Uh, no, it was hot chocolate shit. Oh, oh, oh. Um, what was you I doing here? Some ramen, Roman. Ooh. Oh, day. I don't know what this. Uh, one dollar start, bitch. That's not the uh, Six Flags one, is it? Where the, the bar, the, where the barcode is, it would say Six Flags. Okay, it's it's bare. Huh. It's the promo. Oh. That says Promo. 11. Sorry, guys. Here, let me retype that. I got excited. I have yeah. not seen one with the blank barcode. Yeah, they. those are the promotional ones they get before at the amusement parks and libraries and good stuff like that. All right, guys. Here we Bam, go. there we go. Starting the timer. If anybody need one of these. Oh, Batman Beyond number one, huh? Baron's in at ten. Hmm. The first appearance of Terry McGinnis, guys. Who I believe is Batman Beyond, right? Mm -hmm. And if you guys look yep. up this book, uh, whew, holy cow, guys, this is not a dollar book. Just saying. This is the original, guys, so. A 9-8 slab sold for $890. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It is ten dollars right now. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> TSCS is in at fifteen. Welcome to the fam. I, I believe I confirmed. 
Um, yeah, yeah, he paid me, so he's good for sure. Right. Felix is in at 20, Farron John's 21, TSCS is in at 22. Yeah, here's Anderson's a oh, that's 25. A There's one blank one that sold. I know, I just seen that. Uh, best offer for 80 bucks. Yeah. But it was it was under 80 because it was the best offer taken. It's hard to but, tell. There's so many of the freaking facsimiles yeah, but, in this book. But that one, it, that oh, one no. that you're talking about, that you're speaking about, doesn't Whoa. have this, it has a space in it. So. Yeah, there's one that sold for 65. Best offer taken. Hey, Aaron, right I'm back. not bidding. Hold on. I, I don't bid. I just talk about the book. I'm sorry. I don't bid. So just so you know, like, I don't bid against the chat. It's just not me. So I'm just talking about the book. I'm sorry. And Barb is not bidding either. So no, we'll yeah, I'm not bidding. I'm just throwing out what it's worth, what yeah. it's going for. We're just talking about it for you guys so you guys know. So promise you. <laughs> we, we Doc Cobb is in there. He left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not on the panel anymore. He said his goodnights. He's, he dropped out already. So. <clears throat> good. Okay, good. Good. Definitely a good book, though. Yeah, I just I definitely want you to know, like, we're not. Yeah, the only the only version I see over here of that one is the Six Flags. Yeah, there's a few of the Six Flags that sold too, and it's you have to actually tap on each one of them to see if it's Six Flags or that one. Well, because it's cool because it was down the street from so, right there in Bank, Warner Brothers. That's where they gave it out at. If you if yeah. you ever out, if you ever out in a while, the one the most expensive one. It's this one. Yep, the new stand. Yeah. Is yeah. that the DC Universe nope. variant? No, that's the same one. No, nope. that's the new stand. Oh, okay. I couldn't see nope. it. No, it's not new stand. No. That's Second not print. amazing. Third print. Third print. Third print. Right on. Third print. I got it in the nine four. Is the cover marked third that's print? Third somewhere? print in nine four. Is that nah. in for? Is that in in there too with this one? Yeah, that's in at thirty six dollars right now. Oh no! <laughs> oh hell no! Hell no! Hell no! In the box. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'm messing with you, Roman. <laughs> hey Roman, did you ever sell oh, those uh, blue marble no. white page net? What, what blue marble? Did you have like the the whole blue marble set? I got one. Ain't not for sale. Yeah, I wouldn't. I got one set. Or well, I might have two sets. I had to. See. I don't have two blue blue marble number ones yet. I'm trying to get oh. two sets of those. I got this from my man Thorough. This right here from Thorough. I don't even know. I right. forgot what those go for right now. Quite a bit. Yeah, Let me see Batman Beyond. I don't even know what. To, let me see if I can find one for sale. They sell for, they're selling, like, there's a couple that they actually show this old price for, for around 55 bucks. that book, the one you're holding. There's a couple that were best off or taken, where they just, you can't really see what it oh, is okay. unless you have worth point or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it's around a $50 book. Yeah. And this is, you know, eBay near mints are usually VF. Oh, my book then went down. I should buy this book right here. What's that? <laughs> James, good to see you. Remy, hope you're doing well. <laughs> hey, the, hey, somebody's asking for, somebody's got a third print, right? <laughs> on eBay. Ask, it's a 9-8. They asking for 10 Gs. One of only two. <laughs> well, I just found nine, a third four. print for Dude's 100. Asking, he got a, I just found a so hard again. Yeah, it went on there for $150. I'm at. Yeah, 150 bucks, but it looks like it's pretty worn on the edges. Uh, those hey, those, those promotional ones go for a lot more. Yeah. Woo. It didn't last. So, so what well, now would you I know I need to keep ones. my eyes out for some. <laughs> right? What would you put that grade at, Roman? Which one? The one that you have in your hand. I kept showing the grade. I think he said it's an 8.0. Is that what it was? 
I ain't, I never opened it. I never opened it since I had it. Is that a Midtown? Damn, I man. Huh? I, I, or my comic shop, I mean. You no, 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 no. This oh, is okay. another guy I go to. This is another guy I go to get all my books from. Damn. Yeah, they will, That's a fire book. Right there, 10 guys. G's for a third print. 9 8. Why is this timer? Does it. Is it me or does this timer seem like it's like slow? Because I like I keep clicking off of it. I think like, every time uh, Roman freezes, the clock does too. Yeah. Hey, resubmit that nine four Roman and get a nine nine. Yeah. 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 Crack now, it, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my little nine forty. I don't trust them. Send it to Erod. Get you a ten. Erod got me a, got turned a uh. What was it? A seven five? No, eight zero. And is it seven five or eight zero into a nine eight? And it got me thousands of dollars. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> against his religion, Remy. Against his religion. I think it was seven five. I got a uh, Secret Wars number eight Canadian variant nine eight. I think when I bought it off my comic shop, it was an eight. Sent to Erod, got it clean and press, and sent it in. Came back a nine eight, so I paid like three hundred dollars uh, for it. Doc Cop, he says it's about an eight zero, eight ish, eight five, eight five. Yeah, yeah, nice book. I'm a sucker for that those Fox mm -hmm. cartoons back in the day. Are you able to see any real condition issues on the book? Okay, I've never opened the book, so y'all. Well, I mean, like let's, from let's, the let's go through the book. I never opened the book. Damn, I took my well, gloves we, off. You don't need to. You don't need to open it. Don't open it. No, the guy, the guy I buy from, I always trust him. He checks the whole book, and the, and he actually presses his book before he puts them out. So you might oh, want okay. to get pressed. So again, probably won't actually, get. This book has been pressed. Gotcha. I've haven't even had this book three months. Yet. So the guy gets them from here in Michigan. He uh, that's why he got the grade on there. I just mark out the price. I don't even know what I. You ain't seen it what I paid for it. No finger so bang. If you want, you can get it pressed again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually it's up on his forehead, Remy, so <laughs> it's it's Uncle Roman. It's okay. No, you I'm not. I'm not used to wearing headphones. Yeah. Can't wait to take them off as soon as this round. As soon as the round is over. He's he's ready to get to be done. That's a cool book, though. I don't think I've never seen it like come up on the auctions for sure. So definitely uh, something that you guys don't see. So it's awesome. Ready for you. For you, Remy, I'll let you get this for uh, $5,000. Oh, there Remy. you go. That sounds only like a good James price compared to the ten grand for an, a 9.8. Right. It's half price, so it's only two grades lower. <laughs> David Anderson, isn't it funny that, that that DC doesn't come up, but yet and nobody collects DC, but yet there's like these rare books in DC that nobody, you know, so, I, I think people are closet DC collectors. I think because of the the '90s nostalgia about Batman Beyond. Yeah. Oh, this is Bullock. This is just for you, Bullock. <laughs> That's just for Bullock. Nine eight newsy, right there. All right, guys, we've got about a minute left. Exactly. That's 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 what I was, you know. Like, they don't get. DC is killer. I I love all my DC books. So, price on the Archie Bunker. Did you show an Archie Bunker? <laughs> this is what you come with, Archie Bunker. <laughs> Archie Bunker. White, white on white. No, it's not. It says off white. No, it says wait. It says off white, white. 
It can't what say off white, white. white. It has to be white pages, yeah? It's 9 8. It says off white right. slash white. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, guys, we are going to be Never going into that. overtime. It's- Shoot, with all the rumors about Batman, this would be a good time to bring in Batman Beyond into the DC. Yeah, right. All right. How's, a, how's the ahead. timer back up to three? <laughs> I was gonna say it's in Roman time. I know, time. I know, but we because there's so many multiple bidders, we have to go into overtime. I'm sorry, guys. But no, no, overtime is fine, but it had gone all the way back to three minutes. I was like, damn, Roman's getting a two-hour long round. I know. <laughs> it feels like it, doesn't it? He's gonna fall asleep before it's over. Right. I felt like it was just like, wasn't it well? <laughs> Anybody want a solid gold? Nolan Ryan? <laughs> hey, David, if I was around more, or if I was selling, I would be doing a lot more DC, but I uh, have taken a break from selling right now. All right, guys, we got about 10 seconds left. Doc Cop's going to steal this one for $50. So he wants to know what that, what the price is on that. What you got? What's the price on it? All right. Drop in that end line, the battle of the planets. What's the price on that? All right. Drop in that end line, guys. Here it comes. Here it comes. Are you going to give a PC. price? PC oh. book. <laughs> I finally got me a 9-8 for the PC. That's what it is, but look, I got to see if I can get another one. All right. Well, we'll get talk. Dot Cop stole this one for 50 bucks. Oh, Dot Cop. Oh, I just put this in Dot Cop file then. That's it. Dot Cop. All right, guys. And we, and we got a Batman giveaway for this round, too, so it's great. So, all right. Let's do this. Let's do the screen share. Here we go. Put dot cop on there. All right, let's run it. One, two, and three. Thank you, Roman. Appreciate you. Good luck, guys. Hey, you didn't put your name on. Subscribing, we appreciate you. We're gonna do one more short round and then we're gonna get out of here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, there it is. See that? Cock, cock, wins on the broomstick. Wait, did you just say we're gonna do another round? Hey, Felix is pulling a Roman. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go grab something to sell. I thought you said, I said, yeah, we were going to. Didn't you want oh, to? I didn't hear anybody. I put it in the chat. Nobody answered. I'll go grab something. Oh, okay. All right. Congrats, congrats. Look at that. All right, guys. I'm going to give Barb a minute. So while we do that, let's sh- do some shout outs here really quick. For a little auction, you guys can find Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday here on Strictly Comics. So come check these guys out on Thursday and Sunday. They, we appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to Strictly Comics Group over on Facebook and Instagram. MT said that he is going to be giving away uh, a slab if we can get 100 followers over on Instagram. So if you guys have, or on YouTube, or I mean, please, I can't even talk. Facebook. So if you guys haven't, please go give them a follow over on Facebook. We appreciate you. All right, and then this weekend, Saturday, the 6th, make sure you guys swing back by here and check out the Vintage Comic Auction where they're going to be selling uh, gold, silver, and bronze. It's kind of, it's not a whale show because books will be showing, selling for under $100. Uh, there's some killer, insane books that you guys don't usually see. It's kind of the rare off comic auction, so like they pull out stuff that um, you wouldn't see on any given day. 
So make sure you guys come check us out over here on Saturday. Also, the whale auction is on April 20th. So make sure you guys come hang out with these guys over here. MT does a phenomenal job with the crew and everything starts at $100. There's either key books, grails and white whales. So make sure you guys come check these guys out. We don't know if Paul's having a pop up, so we can't advertise that quite yet, guys. So bear with us on that. Uh, Madhouse comic auctions are on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will be hosting on Fridays for right now. Um, so if you guys want to come hang out with us over there on Fridays, it would be great. We would appreciate it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate you. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. So, Barb, are you ready to rock and roll for one more yeah. last time? Yep, yep, yep. I got one book. I'm going to put up one All book. right. Let's, Take it easy. let's do it. Let's easy, do it. Let's do it. Easy, oh, easy. I guess it would help if I took the, the overlay off. There yeah, I have to be on screen. Okay, so first thing, I just want to remind everybody about the waffle that I have. $5, buy it. There's six spots left, 10 total. $5 shipped and insured. You can claim a spot, and then we can run it. Um We'll do this starting at a dollar because I believe in you. <laughs> Hopefully, you know what book that is. That's a cool book. All right, Anthony. That's, a, that's the first um, appearance of My Little Pony. Yeah, <laughs> right. First, My Little Pony. This is the uh, the variant to the facsimile. It's not the original one that's worth thousands. The, but this is uh, <laughs> Ultimate Fallout 4, the facsimile variant. Near Man or better? Variant. Probably never been read. I don't think it's ever been touched. Uh, it was in that same <clears throat> collection, so it's in a Mylar. It's not a right. dollar book. So Before we start your auction, let's address Anthony's question here. Oh. Um, in your guys' honest opinion, what is the best auction site for either comic books so I can start a comic book collection or comic book movie, movie memorabilia? Um, <clears throat> eBay is always a good one. Um, you can always buy, like, if you want to just start a comic book collection and stuff, and just get your hands on some books. You can always buy like a mystery lot. Those are always good uh, just for starting out. Uh, but if you're looking for like older aged books and stuff, uh, gold and silver, um, your LCSs are always good. Um, so going to your local comic shops and stuff um, or on here or eBay, there's also Whatnot. Uh, Whatnot has a lot of great books on there as well. Um, that's my honest opinion. Uh, I, I mean, I, what does everybody say? Like everybody else's opinion on the panel. What Barb? What do you say? As far as if you want to know the best place to buy comics, it's right here on 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 YouTube in auctions. You'll get the best price. You don't have to pay taxes. Um, the amount that you pay on eBay is typically twenty percent more than you'll pay here. Um, we ship better than 90% of the eBay <laughs> sellers. Um, right. That's fine. Like you can, you can get good stuff on whatnot, but you'll also have to deal with the potential of people ripping you off. And you have to sit through these long ass streams that are so boring. And like here where we're exciting and we're fun. I mean, yeah, this place in, in Instagram, there's lots of good Instagram sellers. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of different avenues. So you know, obviously there's here, which is great. I'm 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 not knocking this, so please don't think I am. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you can find some amazing books on on a lot of these on a lot of these shows. Yeah. So a lot of great books. So it depends on what you're looking for, and um, it depends on what you're collecting. Because I mean, I know. Uh, you know, like we, we were kind of talking just this last round about DC. DC is kind of hard to find in a lot of these comic auctions. But if you're looking for like Marvel, if you're looking for first appearances, if you're looking for all that, there's a lot of guys on this on this on these panels that have a lot of knowledge. So even just hanging out and asking questions, a lot of guys are great for just for asking um, questions about. So. And horror stories from friends, yes. Um, you know, some people, they, they're, they, yeah, exactly. They say they're in mint condition. They're, yeah. they're not in mint condition. They'll ship in pizza boxes. They don't ship properly. 
I, I mean, there's a lot of things exactly. you have to know. I mean, you can buy educated purchases on eBay. Like yeah. I buy stuff on eBay, but it's been, you know, I've been buying on eBay for 15, 20 years. I've been buying comics on eBay. I know what to look for, not only with I'm um, looking at the books, but with the sellers. So you have to do your research on there for sure. Yes. 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 I, I'm, I'm really, really picky on eBay, but you can find some deals on eBay every now and then, but guaranteed almost every book that sells in a YouTube auction is going to be cheaper and you can get it on eBay. True. And you Very can true. always come into a YouTube auction and write in the chat, hey, do you have any Dark Knight's Metal? And if someone's right. got it, they'll say, yeah, they'll go yeah. find it. And, yeah. Exactly. You know, and, and a lot, and uh, my experience with the people on the channel here, we're all honest. So, you know, uh, if we make a mistake, we make it right. Um, so, or if we say that, you know, a book's whatever grade and it's not a, uh, that, that grade and you want to send it back, we'll, we'll gladly take it back and we'll, we'll refund yeah. your money. You won't have a lot of that um, on eBay because a lot of them are just like, oh, it's, it's as is, like yeah. you're, you're SOL. <laughs> so, but a lot of us take pride in, in, in our comic books and we really are, you know, like we're collectors at the end of the day. So we want to be treated as how, you know, we treat you guys. So we want to make sure that we take care of you guys, so. There's other um, spots yeah, too, like short box. They sell uh, they sell slabs on short slabs, box. Slabs, yeah, yeah. And you got like, if you want to drop big money, you can go to like Heritage and you can get their their catalog, mm -hmm. and That's you can wow. buy big books there. And but yeah, I mean, I buy lots of comic books, and the ones <laughs> that I buy that aren't in person are almost always from either Instagram or YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Very seldom do I buy on eBay. I've never bought in any of the other ones. Whatnot every once in a while. And usually that's more if I'm going to one of my friends from YouTube's whatnot. Right. So I, I don't buy from random people on whatnot anymore. It's right. Never and, and James up. Bullock is an accredited seller over on whatnot, you guys. So if you guys are interested and you, you do have the app, uh, go give him a follow. It's Robot Monster Island over there. So it's RMI. Um, so go give him a follow. Um, he's got some killer deals and killer books over there. So he brings out the old stuff. He, he collects nothing but the old stuff. So, uh, but he's valued for everybody on the panel here. So, you know, like there, we're all good peeps. So, um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and start this auction. I know we're at $11. So <laughs> I, I know we've been kind of talking, but I'm going to do a three minute timer here and then we will oh, go can, into overtime. If that's oh. the lowest one you have, that's fine. Yeah. If, yeah. The people that are bidding now, if, if you're done, then fold. Yeah. If right. 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 And and just like Tony says, you know, there's there's comic shows that you can go to on the weekends around your yeah. towns or whatever. If you live in bigger towns, uh, oh. some of the comic shows are great to pick, pick up great yeah. deals, too. Um, but some, a lot of like the comic cons, like the bigger ones, the C2E2 right. and the sdcc and the WonderCon and all that stuff those are all like or my comic book expo coming in april 27th in Pasco Robles, california yes yes but but what i'm saying about like the bigger ones is like that they're all it's not necessarily based on comics anymore it's more of everything else so uh felix when we get to your round make sure you hold that up because james is in the chat and i can tell you he's a big he, he lives in california so Make sure you oh, just, yeah, so everybody's aware. So far, Farron Johns is in the lead. So you have to go over sixty dollars to win this original sketch card done by the one and only me. That's, that, <laughs> dude, that was awesome. That's really cool. It art. turned out all right. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I had to do some tweaking on it, but it's Cobra Commander. Yeah, I put Looks the stripes great, in the back. Looks awesome. All right, we got Riptide in it. Twelve colors, you guys. This is uh, Ultimate Fallout Four. This is a facsimile version variant. To Ultimate Fallout for the variant. Right. Right, James? I mean, he does awesome. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I like the draw. It's fun. They won't let me play guitar in between rounds, so I have to do something with my hands. And you don't know what else I have to do. You just have to mute, mute yourself. All right. Well, then there. <laughs> I'll leave my camera on, but mute myself. Oh, you're talking yeah. about playing guitar. I thought you were something else that I'd be doing. With my so, hands. Who was? 
comics, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, says he's got a, a comic con on March 5th in San Jose, California. There we go. Oh, I'm, I I got to go up there. Send me some information, Chula. Yeah, right on. I'll go up there and support. Yeah, James, I've been trying. I've been telling Harmony for like two months now that she needs to draw another sketch cover. I've given her sketch covers to draw on, and we were going to do one for our Monday show that we do together and uh, use that as the buyer giveaway. So as soon as she does one, that'll be the buyer giveaway on my sale that I do every other Monday. Hopefully I can get her to do one soon. <laughs> but she's right, been guys. doing for Rena. Rena uh, Brown is doing, you know, she does the books and Harmony's been doing a lot of art for her lately. She did the cover of one of Rena's books and I think she's doing another one. I can't remember. I can't keep up. All right, guys, we are going to be going into overtime since there are multiple bidders. So here we go in overtime, 60 seconds right here. Here we go. We're not even at half what this is worth, but we're at more than what I paid for it. So yeah. I'm good. <laughs> but you can keep bidding. Don't don't feel like you don't need to bid. Feel like you need to bid. <laughs> the, the next comment or the next guy up, uh, Felix. Uh, you'll see his information scrolling on the bottom. He said, "Send him some information. He will uh, he'll go check you out." So he lives in California too. So. Um, <clears throat> Hang tight. But we got about 20 seconds left on the auction, guys. It looks like Felix is in the lead for 15. Yeah, James Nola did take take off. He he dipped. He was he said he was being tired. So. Um, he, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, like, what's it going? Are they going to wait for the end line and then do it right afterwards? Is that is MT here? Are they going to do that? And, and then he gets mad because I call him a bum. Like really, James? Like really? Hey, but he did really. Like seriously. All right, dropping the end line. Here we go. Here if we you're go. Gonna bid, do it fast. Dropping it. There it is. All right. Okay, so, like, Felix. Felix took Congratulations. That one. Thank you, sir. Do I do I get a special card too? Oh. You, you did not spend more than uh, what's this? Uh, Baron, Baron Johns did, unfortunately. Right. You were Just four send me times that you have what he paid. No. What you say? Just but you can go to my Depop and you can buy shirts. I have your size, I swear. <laughs> All right. And I'll send you one of my shirts from Under Pressure Pressing. There you go. There you go. Well, I don't have like my shirts. I sell shirts like this. I sell. No, but I can send you one. I can shirts. send you one of mine. I sell concert shirts. I sell. Yeah, but you uh, can trade. You like can still nerd trade. shirts and comic shirts and game oh, shirts. I have a an original release from Last of Us that they put out when they previewed the game. I have a shirt from that from the '90s, well, not the '90s, early 2000s. But uh, See, that shirt's worth just... a lot of money. No one's bought it. All right, you can trade with Felix. Though. He's saying I'll trade you. So. Hundreds All right. of shirts. Hula. This is the guy. Check him out. Chula, he and James, actually. Look at this, guys. April 27th, Comic Book Expo. Here yes. you go. Check it out. Yeah, excited. One in April, and I'm going to do one in August. So. And his Instagram is scrolling on the bottom there. So, Chula, check him out. Tony. Check you out. Tony, you want to buy my shorts I got on? Is that what you're talking about, scratch and sniff? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. my God. Black, black <laughs> special. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, 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 how many people we got on right now? He's asking got, where it's at, at, like where your con's at. Where's it at? What it's city? It's going to be in Paso Robles, California, um, end of the month, on the 27th. Come at and check city it out. Park. Downtown Park. Try and put the city name on there, no? Yeah, it's gonna be nice. All right, guys. This is gonna be a crazy lot. Crazy lot. All right, this man's getting crazy. Y'all ready for this? One one dollar start. Oh geez. One dollar start. I know how his one dollar starts go, guys. All right, here <laughs> we go. Here we go. Clear? Cyclops? Oops. That's a sick book. 
Mr. Sinister. Cable. Cycl um, Apocalypse. X Factor 5. And 6. $5 start. Let's go. $5. Didn't you say a dollar? All right, guys. One dollar right there. Look at those books. Alyssa says, I'm in. I can buy this for a dollar. So. Here we go again. Clear. Mr. Sinister. His little baby from another baby mama. <laughs> the one and only Apocalypse. Are only, those, the, only the strong will survive. Are those prints or are those comics? Are those prints or comics? These? Yeah. These are the giant size Fleer uh, promotional cards. Oh, okay. When they release the uh, Fleer cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is the giant size. I don't think I've ever seen those. That's awesome. X Factor 5 and 6. Somebody's eating his treats, guys. Yeah, my kids out here making a mess. <laughs> That's okay. I, I I keep telling them, wait till they grow up and they have their own shit. I'm going to go mess it all up. Yeah, do it. Do it. These are nice, man. Look at that. Look at that. These are nice. Mr. Sinister, under underrated. They haven't used him right. Oh, man, Nathaniel Essex, man, he's a he's a something else. We all know this guy, Josh Brolin, right there, with the mechanical arm. And there's Apocalypse. Oh, and his person. First in cameo appearance of Apocalypse. Killer deal, people. Let's go. Yep. Yep, you're right, James. Is it good? I haven't watched it yet. Is it good? Yeah? All right. I'm not gonna say anything about it, man. It's, yeah, don't. Just yeah. They kind of give it a twist to yeah. the origin of Cable, but that's all I gotta say. All right, I'll check it out. Yeah. But X Factor five and six, and the Fleer cards. All right, guys, we got about two minutes left on the clock. Rum Curtis is over here sleeping for the next round. In between rounds here, guys. So. I hope he's ready for the final round, the banger of the of the the uh, show here, guys. So he's got to bring the heat. He hasn't brought the heat all night. <laughs> I'm I, not. That's not true. I was true. busy. That's I was caught true. up a little bit. <laughs> but it's a great show. Tuesday nights, man. Let's roll. Let's go. Yes, we love Tuesdays. It's a great, great place to hang out with all of us yep a lot of interact each other yep yep <laughs> rock of my baby on the tree top. Right. <laughs> back to the show people right <laughs> so Luda's gonna take this down for 25 dollars Come I on. know, crazy. Let's go. All right, 40 seconds left. Let's go, people. <laughs> it is. Like I said, I, I know Felix is lots. He's, hey, if you if you put these on a little frame and put them in your office or in your wherever, these are 
These are they look, they look sick. They really are. Yeah, they are. What's, These the, are nice. what's the condition of those X factors? Tony's in nine two easily. The nine oh nine two is easily all day. All right, so Chihula, um on StreamYard here is which which what, yeah. what we go after. Uh, James came in before you, just so you know. So, uh, but he's back at thirty five. So, all right, so we are in overtime. So it's going to start the overtime clock. Here we go. <laughs> and I will press and clean. Well, these two, because these are already all cards. But if you find these with the popularity of X Men 97. Right? Yeah. It's going to blow up. Pressable stuff. Yes, he presses all his stuff. So yep. he. Yeah, uh, I got something to show you after on our, uh, on our goodbyes that has to do with those things. Ooh. All right. Who is in at 45 that resets that clock? Here we go, guys. It's just my dog in the background snoring. You guys don't don't pay any attention. I would have put them for a little bit more if these were new stands, but they're direct, but they're nice. Yeah. Beautiful copies. These are 45 alone. Well, I'll say about a little bit more. And this is just icing on the cake. Look at that. Look, look at the detail on those. <laughs> so X Factor 5 is the first appearance of Apocalypse. If you guys don't know. Yep, and here's Apocalypse right there. That's his card. And you get his cameo. And you get his first appearance. And 6 is the first full appearance yep. and cover appearance of Apocalypse. All right. <clears throat> so I think the timer reset, didn't it? On its own. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. All right, well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe yeah, it didn't. These I, are dope. I love these. These are just nostalgic for me when Let's see you know, growing up seconds. as a 90s baby. All right, Tony's in at $50. I think I missed the clock, you guys, and I apologize. I was looking at eBay, so I'm sorry if I did. So these on the... On the FLIR cards, they're nice high high grade stock. Look at that. It's like a actual print. See? Look at that. That's cool. That really those are really neat. <clears throat> That's something to get framed. It really is. Exactly. Or in a mylar. Mm-hmm. Or a top loader. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just all right. keep them out of the light because they do fade. Yeah, these are nice. I think I gave one away with the. Uh, I had a Gambit one and I gave it away with the 266. Man. All right, guys, the timer did expire. I'm going to go ahead and drop that end line. Here it comes. Here it comes. Fair warning and dropping now. All right. There we go. All right, man. Good pickup. They're not lenticulars, they're no. just glossy, glossy. So it's, it's like a giant football card. Yeah, yeah, it's like a print of the card that they made. Yeah, it's a promotional giveaway. Yeah. What is it they said when you bought the box, there would be one of those on top of it. Yeah. So when you open the box, you had that one free thing on top of it. Yeah, these are beautiful, man. Look at that. I already did, Liz. I gave away two spots on Doc Cop's uh, waffle. She's trying All to right, get Roman, extra, extra free stuff. Come on. <laughs> Roman Curtis, are you awake? Mr. Curtis, I don't want to switch to him when he's sleeping. It's on me again. All right, you ready? Yep, it's on you. It's on me again. Yep, you ready? Yeah, I mean, I have something to say. What do you got? Uh, and then this is the last round. Yeah, you could, James. You really could. What's that? Oh, James is talking shit about you. He's saying, I swear you could hear you snoring. Yeah, yeah good pickup, Cholula. That's awesome, man. 
see what we got here. Where was that? No, I didn't want that. Didn't want that. Didn't want that. Ah, oh, hell. We got here one, two, <laughs> fifteen more rounds. Three. <laughs> I'm down. Four. I can good. do it. I can do it. All right, let's do it. Fifteen more rounds. Go in. Um, we're doing one more round. No, this about is four, it, mark, four Ooh, mark. Oh, I'm gonna get pumped up. Four mark. I just sit here and, and take a nap in between each round. That's it. Four mark That's jewelers. Uh, two are Marvel two and one, two are Marvel team up. So we got a. Uh, start at. I don't even know. Oh man, ten dollars. Ten dollars starting right. bid with some Mark Jewelers. Ten dollars for Mark Jewelers. Night. All right, you guys, yeah. we're getting steals at the end of the night right here. Oh, that's that is a Edwin Price issue thirty one right Marvel Marvel team up issue thirty one Marvel team up Spider Man Iron Fist. <laughs> oh, that's on my list. Uh oh. Oh, Marvel team up issue one hundred and two. Spider Man and Doc Sampson. Okay, that's but not on my list. But it's a Mark Jewelers part. I know, but no. Mar- Marvel. What I got? Marvel two on one. The Thing and Stingray. Is that on your list, Bum? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe. No, I have it. I'm pretty sure I have it. I think I have it like three times. Marvel Just that two one. one issue eighty three. I think. Issue eighty three. Uh, the thing confronts the power of Sasquatch. Mark Jewelers. Oh. What's up, Jetto? Good to see you. All right, guys. Let's four see, books. See. Two are Mark Jewelers. All of them are Jewelers. Marvel. All of them are? Okay, my bad. $10, guys, for some Marvel team ups. Mark Jewelers. Marvel team up, Marvel yeah. 201. Marvel Who team is in up, Spider-Man, Iron Fist. Spider-Man, Dr. Clemson. Bam. Marvel, come on, one thing, and Stingray. Good to see you, Jet Ollie. I hope you're doing good. And Marvel Team of 83. Marvel 2 on 1. Now, this is Marvel 2 on 1 uh, thing in uh, this Marvel Success Watch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fire. There is no buy it now. That oh, that buy it now slab that he put up the uh, planet of the, the whatever. Yeah, <laughs> battle of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Remy said that he wanted you to send him or uh, sell him a raw one because he knows that you've got a few copies. Uncle Roman's got the copies I used to have somewhere. <laughs> he wants the PC one. He wants that PC one. <laughs> a, it, That's a gold key. It's a guy on, uh, on eBay got a Whitman 98. Ooh. Remy. Ooh. Got a Whitman now. He's got a Whitman 98. Now, which one do you prefer to have? Whitman or gold key? Both. <laughs> and I got a nine eight now. I got a nine six. I got a nine four, and I got a nine two, and I got a nine zero. Oh. Dang. Then I got a bunch. Then I got a bunch of loose ones. This is what Remy wants me to. There's a gold key. 
Right. Okay. Oh my god, he said he would okay. IG you, but he can't wait three months. Why don't you just give him your phone number and he'll text you? Then I got a couple Whitmans. Oh my god. Those, these are the ones that's not slab, you know. He's like, sell me the stack of raw. On the Whitmans, do they have a yellow Whitman label or is it white? It's a dude. It's a dude. Those are the ones that come out like the three packs we use to buy yeah. like three packs. So it's a dude on eBay. He's got one of these. He's got, I don't, at a 9 8. He's only got one, two, and three for sale. Wow. One is a 9 8, two is a 9 4, three is a 9 8. He wanted 5000 for all three. Now he wants uh, 4000 I don't have that. Uh, I don't have that Remy type money. Does he have best offer? Let me see. Yeah, best offer. You know, you offer me thirty. You can't get a Whitman nine eight. I, my Whitman is a nine zero. Oh. A Whitman nine eight. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna go into overtime right now. Uh, Edwin Price is in at twelve dollars. Oh, we the Mark Jewelers, bidding, yeah. We are bidding on all Mark Jewelers Marvel team ups. So that's what we're bidding on right now. We're not bidding on these bat battle of the planets. So just so everybody knows, these are just Uncle Roman's just showing them some of his PCs. So happy Man, late so Easter to you, Jetology too. We the battle of the she battling another whatever. She's so disrespectful to the battle of the planets. <laughs> oh, Kahula reset the clock. Be a price on those raws, Uncle. So we got Marvel team up. Oh. Um, James is interested, um, so if you're interested in the in, interested in getting rid of any of them, Roman. So that's a three pack. And they were pulling the women oh out the three pack, and somebody got it. Somebody turned into a nine eight. Fifteen wow. bucks. Hey, these are, three of these are yours, Mister uh, Mister Price. Right. Got Thirty one. Yeah. yeah. Marvel team up. Spider Man Iron Fist. We got one oh two. Marvel team up. Spider Man and Doc Samson. I had this one when I was a kid. Oh, oh, this is not yours. Marvel 2 on 1, The Thing, and Stingray. And then the last book in the four book lot. Uh, this is yours, uh, 83, The Thing, and uh, Confronts the Power of Sasquatch. There we go. There we go. That's the four, all four of those are Mark Lewis. All right, we're at $15. 15 seconds left on the timer, guys. This is the last auction of the evening. Bard comes in at 20. That resets that clock. Ooh, man, I'm having a hot flash. Holy cow. Bro. Anybody like my Battle of the Planets puzzle? Oh, those are awesome. <laughs> I have a couple of those. I had a uh, a Rocketeer one. I sold it to a dude. He, he saw it in my backdrop, in my background. I was like, hey, uh, I got a Spider-Man one, too. My T-shirts are on the way for the summertime. <laughs> a battle of the planet t-shirts i had made for the summertime heck yeah <laughs> then i got uh some daredevil and moon knight uh t-shirts made too got the kingpin on there looking like the godfather i think the other one is bull bulls on it then it's daredevil did you find a frame for that picture i sent you no 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 all right is barb gonna steal these for twenty dollars guys we got five seconds left on the clock I'm gonna have Stay to right here next to me. No. <laughs> Stay right. right here next Drop. to me. Dropping the end line. Fair warning. Dropping the end line. Here it comes. I got a there couple things. There it is. All right. Looks like Barb's going to steal these 20 bucks. Man, what a steal, Barb. Okay, so you're going to send me the two team ups. And you're gonna send? Oh, did, do you have a box for Teresa already? I don't think so. Uh, -uh I can send them away. We want to send them. Okay, well then you're gonna send those two to her, and I'll just pay for the shipping. What? Because I only want the team ups. I didn't want the two in ones. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, no problem. What's the price, price on, on the Whitman pack? <laughs> 
All right, guys, we're going to do one last Chris for the last Ooh. three buyers. Um, I guess I'm doing a giveaway. So this is my giveaway for Felix, Kahua, and Barb, was... which I think are kind of cool. Hopefully you guys like them, but if you don't, we can figure it out. But I got some, some venomized little minis. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have the Thanos one. Those are awesome. So, <laughs> so I got X-23, I got Iron Man, and I got Thanos. And they're all little bobbleheads. So. Awesome. Hopefully, you guys, hopefully you guys like them. So, all right. Good luck, guys. Ooh. Come on. We're gone. <laughs> I know. If I can't win this, I can't win shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got a thirty-three point three percent chance of winning. Not good yeah. enough. I need about forty-nine percent. Yeah, my computer is all open with you. There we go. One, two, three. We need all characters. Come on. Here we go. All right. I okay. need a long build, though. Man, I if I lose to Barb. My duck. Does my duck have the HIV? You got polio? What's oh, it's got hearts all over. I can't yeah. barely see that. Oh, man. But these are cute little characters. Oh, you know, bobbleheads. <laughs> always fun. Oh, man. Who's taking these? Oh, is Felix going to put on the Jets? Nope. Oh, That's oh. Dick, this is some bullshit. Greg, I'm done. Last last time I'm in the show. Yeah. All right, Barb. There you go. I want yeah. the X23. I knew oh. it. Right. Well, I'm sending you it all of them. Where's that? It's somewhere over here. I was gonna send them all to you. It was with my X23. Oh. There you go. These are little minis. So, oh yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. You have a box with me anyway, so okay. There you go. Oh, I do. Do I? You do. Sweet. I know, right? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys. Uh, Where everybody disappeared? We had so many sellers. Where all these sellers disappeared to? I know, right? They all got tired. All right, let's say our goodbyes really quick, and then we're out of here. Okay, I was going to show you these since Felix was showing all those. This is why you don't put them in the sunlight because they fade. They oh. they don't have UV protection. But there's the Captain America one. I have a whole stack of them. They're Storm. Dude, they're awesome. Look at the Boris. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Vicious? <laughs> he's, he's all caked up. <laughs> is that, uh, who is that? I don't even know who that is. Uh, it says Random. His name's Random. <laughs> is that? Here's some uh, Jean Grey. There you Good go. Night. So I got I bought this big lot of these from Airboy a while back. There you go. There's a Wolverine one. I got a couple doubles of uh, I got one a double of Wolverine. There's a Magneto one. These are different ones than the Ultra ones, but there's a Thing one. Oh, that's cool. There's the Sinister one that you had showed. Yeah. And, uh, and the Cyclops one. Yeah. I got two of these Silver Surfers. Oh, those are dope. And throw one of those in there and with my package of uh <laughs> <coughs> I got two of these Wolverines. Ooh. Let me get one of those. How much are those? Uh the stickers on them are ten dollars and five dollars, but if you really want one, we'll work something out. It ain't no big deal. There's a gambit one. There you go, that's the one I like. Gambit. There's another storm. That's dope. I, uh, awesome. Here's Iceman on the beach, That's chilling. Shit. You're sitting down in a gold <laughs> mine, bro. Yeah. Here's the Apocalypse one that you had. Here's That's another awesome. Cyclops. There's a different one. Oh, yeah. There's the, the yeah, blah, blah, cable. cable that you had. Here's That's another cool. Wolverine. That's a different Wolverine. And then here's the best one. Here's another Wolverine fighting one of the Sentinels. There you go. Hey, you got, you got something else. These are the coolest things. You need to. I showed the the Marvel Action Hour, wasn't it? M Marvel Power Hour, something like that. They they yeah. all come with these uh, animation cells inside of yep. them. So like that book, since it was sealed, it still has the cell in it. 
and it's like you know it's an animation so oh that's cool dude yeah they all came with it and like i was saying the animation sells sell for five to ten dollars on their own so five bucks oh, for that neat. book was a good deal like, just in case anybody wasn't aware of that but i was giving you a good deal <laughs> yeah i don't think anybody i don't i i've never seen those those are cool yeah they're awesome you put them on a white backer board and it's just like it was a scene from the cartoon right just mass produced that one cell for the yeah power. you get to throw that in my box too bro marvel to... action hour or something like that nope this one's mine oh oh okay. you just got rejected Sorry. <laughs> I'll speak talking later. Sorry. <laughs> hey, right. look for me tomorrow on Instagram. Barbarian Kung Fu sells stuff. I have an IG claim sale that I do every Wednesday at 8 p.m. And I put up hundreds of comic books. All of them are for sale. All right. Thanks, Barb. Thank you very much. All right. Felix, you want to show off your, your board one more time? April 27. Oh. Please come down. Oh. April 27th. Sorry, too much of a. <laughs> April 27th, downtown Paso Robles. Come and uh, check out the Comic Book Expo. One in April, and we're going to have another one in August. Nice. So, appreciate everybody ha coming out here and having a good time. Tuesdays is the best time. So, thank you. Appreciate the time. Thank you. All right, Uncle Roman, you want to say your goodbyes? Roman. Want to say your goodbyes? Yeah. Let's say your goodbyes. All right, bye. Um, probably won't get nobody <laughs> books out till Friday. It's raining here for the next couple of days in the city. Um, other than that, nah. Thanks for having me on, and see you next Tuesday. I don't know. Um, yeah. That's Have it. a go, Uncle Roman. Thank you, Uncle Roman. Appreciate you. All right, guys. If you haven't, uh, please make sure you guys come back here on Thursday and <laughs> Sunday. So go check these guys out. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. And we will see you next Tuesday. Goodbye!